We're about five and a half minutes away from kickoff, and if you were listening to us earlier, uh, pre-coach's show, I mentioned to you I had a chance to walk by Angel Perez today, and uh, he looked at me and said, you're going to be calling my name all night. So I take the young man at his word, and Ben, tonight, Angel Perez will be our isolated player of the game. Well, and not only that, he's played, so we were talking earlier, he, you know, he's played some safety. He's, they've moved him around a little bit, but it's kind of like moving home for him and being back at that linebacker. It is, and, you know, he's, he's a natural downhill. Yes, he is. Kind of a defensive player. He loves contact. Linebacker, obviously, is one of those places that is, that's a requirement for the position. When you play lakeside, you know that they're going to – they don't like to run the ball up the middle a lot. They like to run outside. They run kind of some jet sweep, buck sweep type things. Um, they also like to throw the short passing game, so the outside linebacker position is absolutely pivotal when you play a team like Lakeside because they're going to get a lot of work. In the running game, your outside linebacker has to set the edge. In the passing game, they're going to have either rush responsibilities or they're going to have uh, pass zone coverage responsibilities. Yeah, and we know Coach McBride, he's going to, he's, he's going to try to take something, that you take something that you're not looking at. I mean, he's trying to try to do something that we don't know, and uh, – I'm actually. We're going, see, we're going to see some multiple offenses, I think, according to Coach Plumley. Actually, very familiar with their offense. That's the offense I learned when Coach Plumley first came here, and I was still coaching football. Yeah, they've changed from what he said. They've changed it up a little. Caleb we'll see. Dylan is on to kick for Lakeside. Going to be a sky kick, fielded around the 20 yard line by Dante Cagle. He's over the 25, hit and dropped just short of the 30 yard line. Leopards will be going from right to left on your computer, television, radio dial, whatever it is, going towards the scoreboard here at Claude Mann Stadium. Nice coverage down there. But there's a bunch of Rams down there about the 29, 30, 31 yard line, and uh, that's all the further Kegel could go. That's I'll be a- very interested to see what we decide to do. I know we want to establish the run, but I also know Coach, Coach Plumley's not afraid to take a shot. He might try to loosen them up early. But I know we want to run the football, so you really just don't know how we're going to attack the first play. We'll be first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Twins left, split right. Janelle the up back on the right side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. There's the snap. Give is to Dupree up the middle. Got a big hole. He's up over the 40, spins around a guy. Finally brought down the ruck just short of the 45, give him the 44. I can tell you if they're going to continue to play four defensive backs that far off the line of scrimmage yeah. and only four down linemen and two backs are kind of a 4-2-5 look. If they keep us that look, then we're just going to keep, keep handing it off to number two a lot. Well, i tell you what, number 50, Bullholtz really opened up a hole. Then through, and there was a hole I could run through. First and 10 from the 44. Twins to each side. Janelle the up back on the right side. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket, now going to run. He's over the 50. 45, 40. Dropped around the 36-yard line, 37-yard line, first down Leopards. That's something that uh, Coach Plumley and I talked about this morning, Ben, is it that says getting really more back into the flow of the thing and more, more comfortable when he's, you know, he's got one read. I didn't know that he's got one read. And if that read isn't there, then he takes off. I, and I, I didn't know that was a, our offense was that simple. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. Twins left, split right. Janelle the up back on the left side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap. Option look. Pitch out to Dupree. Over the 40, 35, 30. Cuts up, steps out of bounds before delivering a punishing hit. Looks like they're going to mark him around the 27-yard line. Jalen looked like he's just picked up where he left off last week, man. He did. But you mentioned, you know, how simple it is. Well, when you've got speed on the outside yeah. like Dante Cagle, you've got a running back like yeah. Jalen. You got a quarterback as as elusive and the true dual threat quarterback, yeah. and you've got a six five tight end and Janelle. When you've got players like that, sometimes the kiss method is the best method. Oh, yeah. Keep it simple. Yep. And <laughs> great players will uh, make big plays. Twins right. Dupree and Cagle in the backfield. We have flags before the play. No, actually, we have a timeout. Actually, what you that was what you sounded like Coach Plumley talking this morning off the mic this morning. That's exactly what he was saying, Ben. That was a Coach Plumley not happy about how we were aligned. That was about to be uh, our two biggest threats last week uh, in the backfield. Well, I guess our three biggest threats are in the <laughs> backfield right there. There's a lot of speed and power in that backfield. And really, it's almost like the old – if you're, you're a Giants fan, you remember Thunder and Lightning? 
uh, with with Brent. Ron Dane and was a Tiki Barber that was at the Thunder and Lightning combination. Okay, yeah, and or you could go even uh, Brandon Jacobs and uh, oh, I've gone blank on the other one. And that's kind of that's kind of where we are. Jalen's a big, strong, physical, powerful guy, and, and what we learned <laughs> last week is Dante looks like he shot out of a cannon on that pitch, and if he gets a, just a sliver of daylight, he is gone, gone. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Twins right. Janelle going to be the up back on the left side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give to Dupree. Looking to get to the outside. Going to get over the 20 and step out of bounds. Looks like they will give him the 20, which will bring up about third and three. Or no, second, second three. Yeah, Sorry, second. second three. Lakeside's defense is very multiple. They're going to go three-three stack. Right. They'll go four-four-two. They'll run four-man fronts. They'll run five-man fronts. They're going to give you a whole. They're going, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to confuse the offensive line. Great point, because that's what Coach Plumley was talking about. That they lines worked on that all week. Recognition. Pitch out to Cagle. Cuts it up. Got there. Room. It is. He may score, and he will. Well. Yo, they said he scored before the yeah. fumble. He may have fumbled, but crossed the line beforehand. Touchdown, Leopards. I'm telling you what. That, as quick as a hiccup. That's a pretty good, pretty good average for every time he touches the ball, Ben. Well, how about this average? One touchdown per carry. That's what I mean. <laughs> He's got three carries and three touchdowns. Oh. Consistency is key. But just, just so we're all keeping score, Dupree's averaging 15 yards a carry, carry. this year. Yeah. Here's a snap kick is away. It's going to be blocked. blocked. Yeah, it was kind of a bad snap. Caradon reached around to grab it. Messed up the timing a little bit. Nevertheless, 10.44 left here in the first quarter. Leopards lead 6-0. We'll be back after this. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back here, Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field, as the Leopards take their opening possession. I believe it was 70 yards, with capped off by a 20-yard touchdown by Dante Cagle to lead this one 6-0. Oziel Martinez has the ball teed up. Ryan Ballard and Kyler Wolf back to receive for the Rams. Kick is away. High kick going to be fair caught around the 27-yard line. Lakeside will take over from there. Now we get a chance to see what uh, Lakeside coaches have dialed up for us. Like you said, though, Sam, it may, Seth, it may be, it's going to be the same thing. There may be some variables on it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, some small twints here and there, but uh, they're going to run that same offense. I think that Jared's had a lot of good success with it. Twins to each side. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Back to the right of the quarterback. Quarterback is Douglas. Douglas looking to throw. Got his man out there. Stick route. Tackled by Dante Cagle. Just short of the 35. We'll give him the 34. Douglas is one of those kids. He, he's a uh, got some experience. He, he's very smart, and, uh, he, and according to the coaches, he's just not going to make many many mistakes. I got to believe that number ten is going to be the the focal point. He had ten receptions against Lake Hamilton, and nobody else came anywhere near that. So, twins, Kyler Wolf, ten twins to each side, back to the right of Douglas. Here's the snap. Looking out, oh, going to be, oh, oh almost oh, intercepted oh, by the isolated player of the game, Angel Perez, with blanket coverage there. And that would have been a pick six I, if, pick he'd, if he'd have been able to haul that in. And, you know, I think maybe they, that was something that they had seen on tape because when you are that <laughs> confident that you're going to call my name out tonight and on the second play of the game you are inches away from a pick six, you kind of knew something was coming yeah. up, I have, I have to believe. Will be third and four from the 34-yard line. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Douglas rolling left, looking to throw. Going to fall short of his man, looking for Wolf. 
Ethan Martin on the coverage brings up fourth and four. That's about as good a start as you could have hoped for. The only yeah. thing that would have been better is if we'd have hauled that interception in. Yeah. But really good coverage against a team that likes to throw the football. And Lakeside's going to – they're going to chunk it around. That's what they're going to try to do. Brady Arnold on the punt for the Rams. Dylon Caradine back to receive for the Leopards. Almost blocked. High kick. Going to land out of bounds. See where that spotted. Looks like he's going to spot it around 35. the 35. Well, 35, now 30. he's still walking. 34-yard line. No, 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 no. Changes his mind again. 33. <laughs> now he's looking at the 32 like it looks appealing too, but he's going to stick with the 33. Looked like yeah, he was uh, – Actually hit two feet outside of the 31. It looked like he was kind of looking for the big screen <laughs> to see, you know, maybe I could catch a replay on yeah, where that went. Yeah. Oh, they don't have a big oh, screen in. He saw this press box and assumed. He assumed. He said, there's, <laughs> there was a, there's, there's a big there was screen, a big somewhere. screen somewhere. <laughs> there's, there's an order of things around here. First and 10 from the 33-yard line. Twins right, split left. Going to bring Dante Cagle in motion. Pitch to him. He cuts up over the 35. Flag flies as he's going to fall over the 40-yard line. Flag in the area of holding. Got to be that or a face mask. I mean, they threw it right in, right in when he hit him. So I'm, 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 I'm thinking they're going to get the Rams. All right, we're backing up. We're Hold backing it. up. Okay. Cagle says, "Well, that protects my average." Yeah. Oh well. Make it about what fourth and sixteen. First. <laughs> oh no, they're going to. Yeah, Keep backing her up a little bit. First, yeah. First and first and no, first and twenty. First and twenty. Yep. First and twenty. Ball on the twenty-three yard line. Twins right. Here's the snap. Fakes the give to Dupree. Simmons going to keep it himself. He's going to fall forward down to around the twenty-seven yard line. Pick little, up a little, four. Little misdirection there. Faked it to, out to, uh, like you say, faked it out to Jalen and Dupree and uh, then took back up over number set, big old number 76. Second and 16. Twins to each side. Janelle going to be the up back on the right side. Simmons alone in the backfield. Ball on the 27-yard line. Simmons looking to throw. Oh, Just behind oh. his intended target, Dylon Caradine. Yeah. Incomplete. He was, he was there. He was he open. Was yeah. That's one that says probably going to say, I could have thrown that a little better. That's one Dylon's going to say, I got a couple of hands on it. I might could have hauled that one in. And truth so, is, both of them are probably right. Probably yeah. right. Simmons' body language there, I think he looked at Dylon and kind of gave him the old pat. Like, <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Going to bring up third and 16 from the 27. Trips right, split left. Janelle still the up back on the right yeah. side. Here's Find the snap. Two. Simmons rolling Find to his two. right. Finds Dupree near the line to gain. It's going to be off, really on the uh, spot. And I think they're going to give it to him. He's yeah, walking right on I that line. Fine too. And I tell you what, Jalen knew where he had to go. And Dupree is politicking hard for that first down. I golly, I'm, they may, and yeah, they're, they're going, going to give it to him. Give it to him. You know, that's just, that's something that. If I know they're going to go to him, everybody else, you know. Well, you know, I thought that watching the Bills last night when they only threw to Cooper Cup. Yeah. But somehow he still ended up with like 12 catches. So, you know, who knows? First and 10 from the 43-yard line. 8-20 left here in the first quarter. Leopards lead 6-0, looking to add on. Twins to each side. Dupree going to be to the right of Simmons. We have a flag. Looks delay like it's going to be a game. delay a game. I think the question is going to be, I mean, when you take that long to spot the ball. Yeah, did you? Yeah. I mean, how are you going to, you know, I think that's that's the, what Coach Plumley's asking. How do we not get a reset? They're looking for a raise the roof call. You know, it, it took them, I bet, I bet they didn't move the sticks until no. we were down to 15 yeah. seconds. Yeah. There will be a discussion about it. Uh, we're going to talk this over. They could be discussing just how tasty was that hospitality room food sponsored by Jimmy's Chicken. Jimmy's Chicken. 
Beautiful segue. We do, <laughs> we do thank, thank Jimmy's Chicken for donating uh, tonight, as well as Larry's Pizza for giving pizza for the Press Box crew. And as always, Margaret Baker making some of the most fantastic desserts, desserts. Mm, 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 mm. in this world. Yeah. Coach Plumley is not he happy not with happy, the explanation. He's not happy with that explanation. Which, which tells me they're probably going to mark five off if yeah. he's not. Oh, wow. Uh, he's kind of walking on. <laughs> so they are going to save the five yards, but lose a timeout. Justin's not here so in relative quick order, we're down to one timeout yeah. for the half. Yeah. Better to run out in the first half. And I don't. Second. And I don't think uh, Coach Plumley was. Pleased with having to take either one. No, 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 he was not. Those were not his favorite timeouts. First and ten from the 43-yard line. Twins left. Up back is Janelle on the left. Fakes the give to Dupree. Simmons looking to run. run. Going to be brought down by the ankles around the 47-yard line. Picked up about five there on first down. If the Leopards can start chewing up, gaining five or six yards to the right side, yeah, they're going to be in really good shape because they make their money on the left side running behind Big Vinny. So yeah. if they can keep them honest and they can pick up five, six, seven yards going to the right, they're going to be in really good shape. Second and five from the 48. Twins left. Janelle the up back on the left as well. Here's the snap. Fake to Dupree looking to throw. Goes Ooh, through boy. Cedric Cook's hands mm. and into the hands of Caradine. A little confusion there. Uh, I think that incomplete. Caradine in the chest. Caradine in the chest. And, uh, it definitely was awkward looking. A couple Ooh. of stick routes that ended up on top of each other. Ryan Ballard was right there for the Rams and bounced around and uh, ranked up at the big, big, not a big third down, but third and five. Ambient crowd noise there. Third and five from the 48-yard line. 7.30 left here in the first quarter. Trips left. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Man, they are coming at him fast, and he's going to be brought yeah. down in the yeah. backfield. Yeah, it's number 34, the linebacker. He was on. The, he stopped him out there on the, uh, on the other side. And uh, Mason. Nguyen. Ma Mason Nguyen, right. <laughs> I recognize, I recognize that it's the pronunciation. <laughs> well, I just like the right. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. Cedric Simmons drops back to punt for the Leopards. Will be fourth and 15. Ball currently sitting on the 38-yard line. No one back to receive for the Rams currently. Plenty of time. Punt is away. Roll, baby, roll. Does take a bit of a Malvern bounce before it goes out of bounds. Going to be bound down to the 29-yard line. Where it'll be first and 10, Lakeside Ramps. That was another one of those series guys that uh, the Leopards were their own worst enemy on that on that series. Yeah, that one, there were certainly opportunities there. A couple of, you call them misplaced passes and some maybe some drops, penalties. Those were definitely some self-inflicted issues. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Give is to the back off the left side. Now going to cut it back up to the middle. Almost tackled by his lineman. Gives time for Malvern to rally to the ball. That was Austin Collins. Or Flor Forrest Landreth. Will be uh, Zane Garrett, tailback for the Rams. Twins right, split left, second and seven from the 32-yard line. Snap, give is to Garrett off the left side, looking to cut up again. Going to be met by almost the entire Leopard defensive line. No gain to possibly losing a few. Yeah, there hadn't been much room in the room there for their running game. Uh, but it's one of those things, you got to try it, though. You got to. Try to keep the trying to keep the leopards honest. Third and seven from the 32. Twins to each side. Garrett to the right of Douglas. Douglas looking to throw. 
Going to fall short. Bounces into the receiver incomplete. Bring up another fourth down for Lakeside. Looking for Wolf on the stick route. You just joined us. We're 6-10 into the first quarter here at uh, Claude Mann Stadium. David Ivey Field, 5-10. And uh, the score is the Leopard 6. The visitors from Lake... From Lake... Uh, side. Lake side. <laughs> or zero. All right. Lakeside going to punt. Kick Ooh. is away. Kick. High kick. Now we're going to try to get away from it. Takes a little bit of a ram bounce. Now going to be downed at the 31-yard line. Kegel wanted it. Yeah. Kegel would have been dangerous. It. Yeah. Not bad starting field position for the Leopards as they look to add on to their 6-0 lead. I was trying to say Lakeside and Hot Springs at the same time. And <laughs> Lake? <laughs> like I, got part, I got part of it out <laughs> No. Huh? I, I didn't know if you were going to go Catherine, hey, you, you never Hamilton, know. You Washita. Never, you never know where I'm going, little buddy, so we just leave it at that. Okay? You never know. <laughs> First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Twins left. Here's the snap. Fakes to Dupree. Going to be Simmons up the middle. Got some room over the 40. Brought down at the 44-yard line. First down, Leopards. Great, great read right there. That was a... Uh, an option there, whether to give it or take it. I think that that was a. I'm pretty sure that was a read, wasn't it? It, it, looked it like. certainly looked it like sure, it. Certainly looked like, and he pulled it back out. It's really kind of a nightmare scenario for a defense <laughs> because you've yeah. got to give Jalen Dupree, yeah, you know, due diligence, and then if Cedric tucks it and runs, now he's one of the better runners in the state. First and 10 from the 44, twins left. Here's the snap, give it to Dupree up the middle. Makes the first man miss, lowers his shoulder, wow. gonna fall forward down to the 45 yard line. Another first down for the Leopards. We did a little side jump there at the line of scrimmage, saw that hole and shot through it with power. Yeah, and you almost, you almost wonder if right now, Coach Plumley has just made the decision that we're gonna try to yeah. manhandle our way into the end zone. We've had two power runs and yeah. You still got Janelle playing that tight end, kind of a sniffer back, and you got big, powerful Dupree in the backfield. Same formation for the Leopards. Simmons looking to throw. Airs it out deep, looking for Carradine. Diving what a catch. catch. What a catch. There's those hands we're talking about. Diving as soon as I say that, Carradine. <laughs> they launch one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Ryan Ballard was on the coverage. It really yeah. wasn't that bad of coverage, but Carradine just ball hawks it, cuts in front of him, makes a just – Superb diving catch. Yeah, it was really good body control for from Dylon right there. Yeah, well, said threw it down there, and then Dylon ran to it, and uh, perfect play. What's that, Dylon down there somewhere? Dylon down there somewhere. First and eight, and actually first and goal from the eight. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to run, trying to get away from the first man. Does now cuts it back, going to pick up positive yardage when it looked like it was going to be a loss. Looks like he's going to be down around the five yard line. Yeah. Turned a four-yard loss into a three-yard game. I'll tell you, the, the, like. the one troublemaker we've seen on, on their defense is that number 34, Mason Wynn. Yes. I mean, he's, he's been – He's everywhere. 30, yeah, he is. He's, he's, been, he's been the one guy that has caused us some serious issues in the first quarter. Second and goal from the six-yard line. Clock ticks under three minutes here in the first quarter. Leopards lead 6 nothing. Twins left. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Simmons looking to run again. This time he will in go there. into in the there. end zone. Touchdown, Leopards. Followed right behind number two there. That's a little Josh Allen flavor. <laughs> nobody nobody circles the wagons like the Malvern Leopards. Or Buffalo Bills. One of those. Will be... Oziel Martinez on to attempt the extra point. Hold by Dylon Caradine. Good hold. There good snap. Got up. Good kick. And it is good. So with 2.51 left here in the first quarter, Leopards lead this one 13-0. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field, as Oziel Martinez brings his 
kickoff coverage team onto the field. Referee did not accept the first football. Tossed it out with quite the cannon. We'll try this one. Will be Ballard and Wolf back to receive for the Rams as Martinez is now set to go. 2.51 here in the first quarter. Leopards lead 13-0. Kick is away. Going to be fair caught right at the 25-yard line. We'll call it right on there. First and 10 for the Rams. Lakeside down by 13. I got to think they're going to try to start force-feeding Wolf a little bit. They've not been successful getting him the ball. He has... Against Lake Hamilton, he was their source of offense, and I got to wonder if they're going to try to find ways to get him involved. He also had four carries against Lake Hamilton, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get a touch that way. New quarterback is Jacob Hermioso as he throws it deep looking for Wolf. Going to fall incomplete. Dylon Caradine had a good beat on it, just misjudged it a slight bit or would have been a pick. Yeah, Caradine and uh, Ethan Martin Ethan were Martin both right there. Yeah, Martin was right there stride for stride with him, and it's been double coverage is a whole lot better than single, but it's particularly it worked out well with the Leopards. Herm Hermosillo. Apologize if I'm not saying it right. Twins to each side. Hermosillo takes the snap looking to throw. Got his man out there complete. Going to be dropped after a gain of five. That was Howard on the reception. Kago on the stop. Well, they will give it a gain of six, so it'll bring up third and four from the 31-yard line. 220 and counting left here in the first quarter. If you're Lakeside, you really need to get a first down because their defense has been on the field almost the entire game, so would be a, another big stop for the Leopards. Twins to each side. Hermio so looking to – or her, however he said, I'm sorry. Yeah. He's got his man slant right there as Wolf going to fall over the 40-yard line down to the 41. First down, Rams. Yeah. <laughs> Hermosillo. Hermosillo. Wolf run out of his out of his shoes. New quarterback and the Rams come out firing. And he does look like he has a, a live arm, I'll say that. He's spin rate's pretty high on that yeah. ball coming out of his hand. Twins left split right. Give to the back. Looking for oh, room to run. Oh, Eric oh, Clegg meets Eric him immediately. And met by some of his friend Leonard Leach, comes up and <laughs> finishes it off. That was Garrett on the carry for Lakeside. Yeah, well. I tell you, it, there's, there's nothing more beautiful than a, seeing a running back cut back against the grain on a defense and seeing four orange jerseys <laughs> just yeah. swarm him. Because yeah. you know they weren't fooled. No. So it was just a really good – job by that defensive front. Second and 12. Hermosillo looking to throw. Slant route. Uh -oh. Got his man. Breaks the first tackle. Now out, out on the run. Going to be brought down by Eric Clegg after a big gain all the way down to the 38 yard line. First down Rams. Yeah, that's one, <coughs> one of those situations where Wolf made the first guy miss and then... Uh, Vincent. Was that who it was? Wasn't Wolf? Vincent. Vincent. Okay. 84. 84. Did a good job. Anyway, make it. and then that gives you a little bit of room. Yeah, I don't think Wolf's come back on the field. No, he was kind of limping a little bit and had to take his shoe off or a sock off or something. I don't know what that was all about. Trips right, split left. Give to the back up the middle. Ooh. Nice job there. <laughs> Trying to see the the number. Ah, uh, 52. Akir Smith. Akir. Going to bring him down after a gain of one. That was Haywood on the carry. Lakeside goes to a bit of a hurry up. Twins to each side. Oh, got a Keir Smith to jump off sides there. Will be a free five for the Rams. One thing to watch, guys, Hermosillo comes to the line so quickly, not really paying attention to anybody else, ready to snap the ball. At some point, I wonder if he's going to catch one of these receivers not set. 13 seconds left here in the first quarter. 
Lakeside comes to the line. Twins right, split left, up back off the left side. Here's the snap, Hermosillo rolling to his right, looking to throw. Got his man over the 30, 25, reaches forward. <laughs> They're gonna give him the 23 yard line. <clears throat> Number that, four disc, Skyler Pirapoy, 6'5", junior. That will be the end of the first quarter. Leopards lead this one 13-0. We'll be back after this one. From birthdays and weddings to special events, Curiosity's Corner offers a wide selection of customized baked goods and crafts. We are a proud supporter of the Malvern Leopards and Malvern Lady Leopards. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to make your special occasions even sweeter. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium. David Alpe Field as the Rams are threatening for the first time tonight. Start of the second quarter. Leopards lead 13-0, but it is first and 10 from the 23-yard line. Lakeside on the verge of a red zone visit. Twins left, split right. Give is to Haywood up the middle. Makes the first couple men miss. Gets down to the 21-yard line. He'll pick up two on first down. And really, almost score or not, this is exactly what Lakeside needed. They needed to slow this thing down a little bit because I don't, we don't really keep up with time of possession like they do in college and the pros, but Malvern owned it by a long shot in that first quarter. Lakeside probably was happy to give their defense a rest. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Slant route got his man Wolf. Going to be brought down at the 10-yard line. Brought down by uh, Dante Cagle. First and goal for the Rams. Yeah, you were, you were right, Ben, with what you were talking about going to number 10 each time, that, you know, when they can. He's back, got a shoe on, and uh, doesn't look any worse for the wear. He's a, he's a wide body at wide receiver. You know, he's not – doesn't look particularly tall, but, I mean, he's got those big wide shoulders. He's big arms, thick legs. He's, he's a very physical wide receiver. Twins each side, first and goal. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Seam route intercepted by Dylon Carradine. Wow. He's going to bring it out to around the 12, 13-yard line. Nicely read there by Carradine. Hermosillo really first – errant pass today that was double coverage really nothing there looking for a seam route yeah that's just Dylon playing center, center field, field playing yeah. in a zone and he jumped that route now you know we kind of playing a man zone scheme right there and quarterback was eyeing the man that was guarding the receiver but didn't check out that zone coverage on the back end and Dylon jumped it and for a second, it looked like he had an opportunity to make a much bigger return. Oh, oh high boy. snap. Going to be fielded by Dupree. That's a safety, maybe. At, oh. They're going to give him the one-yard line. Malvin narrowly avoids the safety. <laughs> snap just sailed over the head of Simmons. Dupree does a nice job of being aware. Yeah, just, I mean, if he was able to get down, that was a heads-up play. Lakeside going to come out here and start pointing toward our end zone, end zone like he's going to win this. He's going to use a timeout to get a good argument in, but uh, rarely does that work. Yeah. Well, he wanted to get the most out of his timeout. He was going to come out there and show him exactly where the green turns to orange and this is the color wheel. and. I believe both secondary colors, Ben, if you want to get into an art lesson. <laughs> well, orange, wait, what, what's, what's a secondary color? Where do you, oh, say, where do you oh say it's a goodness. secondary color? Orange and green. Oh, yes, yes. I thought, okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about, I thought you were talking about our colors and their colors. I was like, well, they're yellow and blue, and those are both primary, primary colors. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I was talking about where, where the green yes, turned to yes, orange. Green is definitely a secondary color. Orange is a secondary color, yes. Getting the most out of their timeout. Your like art I lesson said. today brought to you yeah, by. Hey, you know what? As an educator, you're always looking for cross-curricular learning. Right. So, 
You turned in tonight for uh, a broadcast. Normally we have some math somewhere yeah, involved, we'll but tonight we want to throw it to some specialists. We'll have some math. Second and 22, ball on the one-yard line. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw, going to look deep. For Caridon, he's got oh it. He runs under it. He's great. over the 50, 45, 40. Now it's a foot race, 30. He's trying to go wide, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Leopards, 99 yards. Caradine finishes off the interception with the bomb. And no way, no matter how you cut it, that's the longest pass completion in the history. It might be tied, but yeah. it is definitely at least tied for the longest completion in the history of Malvern Leopard football. And then, in addition, he probably ran another 70 yards going sideways. Well, uh, so... We'll, uh, we'll quote Chip Reeves we'll there. We'll call that a 160-yard touchdown pass. Can't be beat, won't be beat. Now he's going to take on holding duties here. Hold is down, kick is away. He Martin cut that all kick. the way back across the field to beat one guy. Is good. Caradine looking for a breather. We'll be back after this. Leopards lead 20-0, 10-10 left in the second. Orange Outdoor is ready to serve your outdoor needs at both their Hot Springs and Malvern locations. Orange carries the number one tractor brand in the world, Mahindra, as well as tractors by Coyote, John Deere, Kubota, LT, and Massey Ferguson. For your residential lawn needs, Orange carries zero-turn mowers by Hustler and Spartan. Horn also carries a full line of outdoor power tools. For all of your outdoor needs, visit Horns at 3505 North Highway 171 in Malvern or at 3034 Albert Pike in Hot Springs. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. Leopards lead this one 20-0, 10-10 left here in the second quarter. Avoid a narrow disaster with a high snap, fielded at the one-yard line, followed by a 99-yard touch, nine uh, touchdown pass to Dylon Caradine. Like Ben said, that was a really well-thrown ball by said too. Really a well-thrown ball. Wolf and Ballard back to receive for the Rams. Ozzie L. Martinez has it teed up for the Leopards. Kick is away right down Broadway. Going to be fielded at the 27-yard line. Up over the 35. And that, uh, Ben, I believe, is what you call the wedge. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen one of those. Yeah, yeah and I, I believe that. That's illegal in a, in upper level football. They don't yeah. let you do that in the National Football League or college anymore. I don't believe that definitely had a wedge type feel. But uh, I tell you that that's a pretty special play, the touchdown pass, because it it made Coach Parker smile twice. <laughs> <laughs> so he's only smiled five times since '97. <laughs> oh. And two of them were right there, right yeah. there. So. As the dial brings you the stat of the day. Twins right, split left. Give is to Garrett off the right side of Keir Smith giving chase. Wow. And then, also our isolated player, Angel Perez, gets in on it. Going to be a loss of three or four on first down. And then it's just like blood in the water. Forrest, Griff <laughs> Forrest Landreth jumping on there. And uh, a lot of other orange jerseys jumping in there. And it, it almost starts to feel like chum in the water sometimes, you know, when the sharks just come from all different directions. They're circling. Second 13, ball on the 39-yard line. Trips left, split right. Here's the snap. Hermosillo rolling left, looking to throw. Going to air it out long and out of bounds. Incomplete. Looking for Ballard on the play. Nice coverage, right, I believe, so, yeah. by All Romier right. Bennett. All right, so it's been a really good job going out with him and staying with him. Showed some of that move in the past from playing back there at safety. Now running back there from a linebacker spot. Kid's very, very versatile. And he will hit you. Third and 13, ball on the 39-yard line. Trips left, split right. Hermosillo has to come out and say something to one of his receivers. Now going to bring a man in motion. He said, would you get down there and get open? Lakeside unhappy with it. They're going to have to take a timeout with 9.21 left here in the second quarter. Leopards lead 20 to 0. We'll be back after this. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. 
And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here? Encore? It's been it's been good. They everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feed good. It's just it's just been it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome you back here. Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. Leopards lead the Rams 20 to nothing. Lakeside comes out of the timeout facing a third and 13 from the 39 yard line. They're going to come to the line, trips left, split right. Haywood to the left of Hermosillo, brings a man in motion. Going to make it twins to each side. Here's the snap, Hermosillo looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket now looking to take off. He dives for it. It will depend on the mark. <coughs> May have got it. Looks like nope, they I think they're gonna, no, I think they're going to say it's short. They marked it at the 50-yard line, which is going to be about a yard short, yard or two short. Now, what do you do now if you're lakeside? Well, I think they're they're already in a position where I feel like they they probably feel like they have to go for it. Call it fourth because the they haven't stopped Malvern. The one time Malvern didn't score is because they made mistakes. So fourth and a short two. Lakeside yep. tries to get Malvern to jump. To no avail. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Nice catch. Got his man out there. That was Howard. First down ramps. First and 10 from the 46 yard line. Clock ticks under nine minutes left here in the half. In a relatively fast moving ball game, guys. Twins left, split right. Haywood to the left of Hermosillo. Give is to Haywood, looking for room to run. Makes a couple guys miss, but still not able to get much there. Actually, they'll call it no gain. And was really lucky just to get that. Yeah. Angel Perez was right, right there in the middle of that mix up. In the backfield, I might add. Their backfield. We have a reset of the 25 second clock. Now winding. Second and 11, we'll call it. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw out to Wolf. Goes up and gets it. Makes the first man miss now over the 40, 35. Give him the 34 yard line, goes Wolf. He really is a good receiver. Yeah, you can see why they try to force him the football because he's dynamic with, his, with, it, with the ball in his hands. He's really adept to going up there and getting it at its highest point. We've seen him jump up and Snagged the ball out of the air a couple of times now. You know he's. He just. I think. I think it's. He, I think it's pretty clear he's their best offensive yeah. player. He's a stocky kid too. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Rolling out right. Got his man. Tower. That again. was Howard. Yep. Going to be brought down after a gain of about six. <laughs> As the, the white hat goes over and politely tells Lakeside, too many coaches on the field. Well, they'll call it second and five, ball on the 29-yard line. Going to be twins to each side. Haywood, the back left of Hermosillo. Here's the snap. Give is to Haywood. Looking for him to run. Now bounces it to the outside. Gets up field. Breaks a few tackles. Going to fall down around the 20 yard line. First down Rams. <clears throat> That's really nice run by Hazelwood. They've got him listed to 5'10", 150, but he's running bigger, bigger than a little bit. To be bigger, running bigger than that or heavier than that because uh, I think you got your eyes set towards tomorrow. Hazelwood. Isn't that the kid's name, number three? I don't have my glasses. Haywood. Haywood, okay, Haywood. I liked it. I was, I'm was. i ready for Hazelwood to get some good plays tomorrow, too. Yeah, there's a flag <coughs> offside to Melvin. Free five yards for the Rams. We'll be now first and five from the 15-yard line. They need, need to make this print on these uh, rosters a little bit bigger, boys. <laughs> so I'll put my glasses on I just thought you were looking forward to tomorrow. I know you're going to the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave at 6 in the morning. Woo. Love those 11 o'clock games. 
Twins right, split left. Here's the snap. Hermosillo rolling now oh, left. Oh, chased him brought down. Brought down in the backfield, Forrest Landreth. We do have a flag in the area of holding. That's probably going to get declined, I would think. Yeah. You'd, you'd take second and 11 over second and 14, right? Well, it's not a it's spot foul. Nope, they're going to take the penalty. Yeah. Going to back the Rams up. Goodness gracious, the hold happened six yards in the backfield. No, no. It's 10 yard penalty from the spot. Right, that's what I'm saying. But they, they, it was second and four. Yeah. So, and now it's second and 20. So he had to be five or six yards behind the line of scrimmage where he held. It was first and five. First and five. Well, whatever the case. It was yeah, about four yeah. or five yards to go. So. Oh, <laughs> the hold happened about five or six yards behind the line of scrimmage, is what I was trying to say. There's Twins your man's right, split left. Haywood to the left of Hermosillo. Hermosillo looking to throw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Miscommunication there ooh. by the quarterback and receiver. Ooh. That was about half a second from <laughs> Ethan seeing a lot of green. Yeah. Because that wide receiver had no idea no, that no. that pass was coming. And we were almost talking about another turnover, turnover for Ethan. Yeah. yeah. Turnover, turnover. Turnover, turnover. He sent me a Facebook message. <laughs> Rewatching the YouTube live stream Sunday, I think, and said, I want my turnover, turnover. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Hermosillo. Boom. Bubble screen. Read well oh. by Angel oh, Perez, yeah. but oh. able to break the tackle is yeah. Wolf. He is a strong young man. There's yeah. no question about it. He's going to be brought down right at the line to gain. We'll see if he gets it. Yeah. Wow. We had him. Going to be third and one now for the Rams. Angel Perez nearly makes a great play there, just unable to hang on to the foot. Yeah, the Rams down here knocking on the door again. Last time they got down in this area, we picked one off. Picked them. Twin, or I mean, sorry, man split to each side. Here's the snap give is to Haywood looking to run. He's going to have enough for the first down as he crosses the 10 down to the 8-yard line. First and goal for the Rams. Romir Bennett in on the tackle. And Lakeside is not going to be in a hurry. I mean, they would not they would not be at all unpleased if they were able to score deep, take this clock all the way down, try to prevent us from scoring, and then get the ball back to start the second half. Man split to each side. Here's the snap. Hermosillo fade route. Diving and attempt made. There's a flag. Throw incomplete. Back so they're going to get they're going to get, get pass hold. interference. I think they're going to. But pass. If they call that on Martin, there couldn't have been too much. No, I mean he got a pretty free release. I mean, yeah, he was released. It is going to be holding on Martin. Wow. Makes it first and goal from the four yard line. Huh. I would have called it more more akin to pass interference. I believe the ball was in the air when the contact was, was made. Going to stay man split to each side. Give is to Haywood looking to get to the outside. Uh, Lowers his shoulder. He's into the end zone, but we do have a flag. This is in the area of holding. Boy, and that had, that's a it that's got to be a frustrating moment for Lakeside. It is holding on the Rams. Backs them up all the way to the 17-yard line. You go from first and goal inside the 10 to now inside the five. Now you got to go 17 yards. 
Going to stay with a man split to each side. Tied in and up back on the left side. Hermosillo looking to throw. The there they double coverage. Oh, that looked like a push off. Not called. Dylon Caradine gets over the top, and able to knock it away. That, to me, guys, looked like an offensive push off there on Martin, who had pretty good coverage. And what we did right there is Dylon really did a really good job of giving the appearance that that was going to be one-on-one -on -one -on -one coverage. Yeah. And yeah. then just before the snap, he started drifting. He let the quarterback check the, the alignment. And then right before the snap, he kind of started drifting back towards that pylon, anticipating the fade route. Quarterback didn't pick it up. And then he's the one that was able to jump that route and knock the ball down. Really good job of disguising your coverage. Trips right, split left. Hermosillo rolling to the right, looking to throw. Now going to have to avoid men. As he shovels it out to Haywood, nice heads up play there by Hermosillo. Oh. And a big time hit by Romir Bennett, another flag. Again, in the area of what would be holding. And Bennett is, he's no stranger to big time hits. He plays oh, downhill, wow. he plays fast, and he loves to put a, well, you know, we used to say hat on a hat, but you can't do that anymore. That's a penalty now, but he, he loves the, he loves the sound of, Pads against pads, we can say that we now. We can say bro. that. We can say that. Coach Plumley getting an explanation before he decides what he wants to do here. Is going to be holding. It's like I'm going to back him up again then. Going to maintain second and goal, but second and goal from – and the good news for the Leopards is if Lakeside keeps shooting themselves in the foot, they'll run out of bullets. Yeah. <laughs> How many they I got? just came up with that one. There you that go. Was you did? A, that, I'm telling you, I'm proud I didn't of hear you. that anywhere. That, that I just I came like up with that. that. Yes. All right. Thinking on your feet. <laughs> we'll be first and goal from the 33 Hold on, I need line. to write that one write down. Write that one down. Yeah. I'll write that down. Twins to each side. Hermosillo looking to throw. Going to have to avoid a man as Landers giving chase. Had a man, but overthrows him as Landreth was putting the pressure on him. Going to yes, bring up was. third and goal from the 33. I'm going to tell you what. I mean, we talked a little bit about Forrest last week. He has turned himself into a pretty daggum good defensive end. Yes, he, he understands run responsibilities. He understands rush responsibilities. And he has really, really provided – some stability to that defensive end position. That, you know, when you have kids graduate every year, you wonder who's going to step up, who's going to fill that role. Forrest Landreth has done an amazing job stepping up and filling in and becoming a really, really good defensive bookend for us. <laughs> Another one of those juniors. Trips right, split left. Hermosillo rolls right. Got a flag fly. Clock's at zero. We got another. Offside. They're going to call offsides. Offsides. We'll spin the lined up offsides. We mentioned that this game was going really, really quickly, but, yes, but all really of a sudden it slowed sense. down to a crawl with all the penalties. and Yeah. It's taken about 15 minutes to play the last two. Last 27 seconds. Now it will be third and goal from the 28-yard line. If you have that on your bingo card at home. Just over four minutes left here in the second quarter. Leopards lead 20-0. Twins to each side. Haywood the back to the right of Hermosillo. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to oh, throw. Going to have to step up in the pocket. Avoids one. Now releases it, oh. and it goes wow. through the hands and off the chest of Howard. Yeah. Incomplete. Hit him right in the numbers, guys. Wow. And this is not a position you want to be in, fourth and a quarter of the field to go, for, you know. Because you just don't have many 28-yard uh, plays in the toolbox. <clears throat> I have a feeling we're going to see a fade to Wolf if I was a gambling man. We haven't seen the end of the fourth four-minute mark yet. It was 420 when you said 50. You almost wonder ago. if they got this guy, if he, if he could, like, pooch punt right here. And I don't see a pooch punt right. from the 28-yard line. Yeah. Twins to each side. Hermosillo oh, looking holding. to throw. Will be a fade route out he to might Wolf. Have it. He got and it. He got it. Touchdown got it. Rams. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I uh, I won that bet.
Really nice run and really nice uh, route and catch by the Leopards. I mean, by excuse me, by the Rams because uh, he was we had he had Leopards down there in him, kind of like the way Caradine caught his ball. Villanez kick is good, but because Wolf we have offsides on the Leopards again. Wolf actually They're gonna have to replay the down. Yeah. Yep. Lakeside thinks they can just climb, but we will have to re well. Yeah. Confusion. Referee said we're gonna have to replay it. Now, uh, <laughs> now everybody's he, confused. Everybody He's says we're gonna have to go back, back on the field. On. I will say one thing. The holder for Lakeside came off the bench right there with some ferocity to get back out there to hold. <laughs> he was ready. Take two. Villanez kick is away. And it is good. With 3.55 left here in the second quarter, Leopards lead 20-7. to We'll be back after this. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium. Sky kick gonna be fielded by Cedric Kick right at or Cedric Cook right at the 30 yard line. Leopards will take over from there. Cook got the kick. Well, it's been a long time since the <laughs> Leopards have been on offense. Yeah. So it uh, <laughs> a lot of time of possession, but the clock didn't move that much. My gosh. I feel like it was still daylight last time we had the ball. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers the last time we had the ball. <laughs> <laughs> we will be first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Twins left. Janelle the up back on the right side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give is to Dupree. He's met in the backfield. It looks like he's going to lose yardage on first down, or they may give him a no gain. One of the things you always worry about when you've been off the field yeah. that long is you get out of rhythm. You get cold, you get, you know, some you can get tight. Because, I mean, it was. I mean, that was a long drought for our offense to not be on the field. And so now they kind of got to get re-amped up, refocused, and get back into the groove of playing football. Second 10, twins to each side. Back is Dupree to the left of Simmons. Simmons looking to throw. Oh, got wow. Janelle across the middle. He's over the 50. Cuts back now over the 45-40. Oh. Fumble. And recovered by Lakeside. Oh, a little taunting there. Christian 34. Bell. You could see he was eyeing that up the whole way from behind as he gave chase. Yeah. Janelle carrying the ball a little loosely, and he took advantage, knocking it away. <laughs> Takes what would have been a big play for the Leopards and gives momentum firmly to the Rams. Did a lot of things right. Said did a great job of the pump fake. Janelle's man jumped it. And Janelle did a great job of finding that open spot in the zone. Beautiful pass. And then Janelle, you know, actually got the ball to the outside hand. Yeah. <laughs> carrying it. And then the guy made a great strip from behind. Well, I don't think he realized the guy was coming up from the. Haywood on the carry. He gets up over the 40, down around the 45-yard line, but we have another flag in the area of holding. Well, that's one of those. You you see forward there as a receiver. you got one man to beat, and that's what you're thinking about, and you start trying to run faster. When you run faster, you naturally swing your arm a little bit more, and the trailer just saw an opening and uh, yeah. made a good play. Yeah, trailer saw – I was watching the – actually watching the trailer, and he was – Stalking him from about 10, 15 yards hey, you back. Get, that was his sole goal was I'm yes, going to take was. a swipe at the football. Yes, it was. After the hold, we'll be first and 16 from the 20. Twins to each side. Hermosillo looking to throw. Got his man high, though. Looking for Ben Vincent, unable to bring it in. Going to bring up second 16. Two fifty-four left here in the half. Yeah. 
Twins left, split right, up back off the right side. Haywood to the right of Hermosillo. Give is to Haywood. He's met in the backfield, able to break a tackle though, get across the 20, down to the 18 yard line, where it'll bring up about third and 14. Yeah. Landreth, Landreth really did a good job of getting out there on the outside and getting, getting a hand on him, slowing him down uh, for the pursuit to catch up. He did. You know, and, you know he, he didn't make the tackle. He's not going to get credit for the tackle. But what he did is he set the edge. Yeah. He tied him up. And the guy broke the tackle, but he held him up long enough to allow that those backside pursuit guys to come in and make the play. Nine, ten. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Avoids the rush. Now eyes downfield. Incomplete. Ooh. Looking for Howard, and oh, I, I think the coaches talked him into that Ooh, one because late flag. Yeah, that, that think, ball was already past him yeah, when the yeah. contact was made. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a lakeside call there. Good job, coach. Lakeside coach was yeah. Yeah, that's one where the. The coach, the coach got the Grammy or not a Grammy? That's music. They got the Emmy. Yeah. Is it Emmy? Academy Awards? He got the, he got, a, he got the Oscar. Tony Oscar. Oscar. That's it. The Oscar. He got the EGOT. That was called. The what? When you get all of them, EGOT. I think that's what. It, when you clean sweep them all. No. Oh. Not many people do that. First and 10 from the 37. Twins to each side. Haywood the back right of Hermosillo. Hermosillo looking to throw. Perez giving chase. Got his man out there complete. Makes a man miss over the 40, 45, 50. Now uh -oh. cuts back and got some room over the 40, 35, 30. Nice trailing tackle made by Ethan Martin there, but big play for the Rams. High school football is such an emotional game with – yeah. <clears throat> Momentum swings, and it looked like Malvern, there was a time when we were ahead 20 to nothing. It looked like Malvern had a chance to maybe kind of put this thing away and really put it to bed. And all of a sudden, Lakeside scores a touchdown. They get a big turnover. They have a chance to score here before half, and then they get the ball to start the half. Yeah. Uh, Martin really did a good job and showed some speed. A lot of people didn't think, didn't know that Ethan had, but uh, yeah, he, he's pretty, fast, pretty fleet of foot. Now we're going to take a timeout just to kind of give the defense a little bit of a break there. Really, guys, what I would say the uh, the spark plug for the Rams has been the switch at quarterback. Hermosillo has come in and flung the ball all around the lot. A lot more uh, speed and zip on the ball when he releases it. And uh, due to that, they have had a lot more plays through the air. And he seems to be a better runner too. I mean, it seems like he's – they're able to – do a lot more of the sprint out game, which we've seen a lot with him, you know, trying to get him outside of the pocket and moving guys around and forcing our linebackers to move and put them in different awkward positions in the passing game. And they've been able to take advantage of that. But ultimately, when we go back into the locker room, whether it's 20 to 7 or 20 to 14, they're going to talk about, well, we fumbled the football. We stopped ourselves with penalties on one drive. Uh, so it's not necessarily so much, I think, what Lakeside is doing. I think that we're going to go back and be able to fix things on our end and say we need to shore these things up. Yeah, unfortunately, the one touchdown right now comes on a fourth and goal from the 28-yard yeah. line. Yeah. Twins to each side, first and 10 from the 17. Haywood to the left of Hermosillo. Hermosillo looking to throw. Got his man out there. Well, no, they're going to say he dropped it. That was Ben Vincent. Stops the clock at 147 left here in the half. Second and 10, ball stays on the 17 yard line. Malvern out of timeouts. Lakeside currently has one. Come to the line, twins to each side. Haywood to the right of Hermosillo. Here's the snap, Hermosillo rolling to his right. Looking to throw to the end zone high and into the Lakeside band. Yeah. Almost, <coughs> almost completed it to a tuba. He really didn't have anything over there, and, and uh, he just threw it to the band. Would heady, have been impressive really, if the two had made the catch. Yeah, pretty heady play by him, though. Rather than, rather than throwing it someplace that's going to get picked, just throw it over to the purple or the blue band. Blue band. Of course, right now we're, we're playing this possession with Angel Perez trying to work out a cramp. 
on the sideline. And yeah. this is a this is a spot where you'd really like to have one of your top linebackers. Twins left, split right. Third and ten from the 17. Hermosilla looking to throw out to Wolf. He's going to fall forward to around the eight-yard line, nine-yard line. Going to be fourth and one, About maybe. One yard, yeah. One, maybe two. Kind of tough to tell the angle from here. And this is definitely a spot you'd like to have Perez out there, fourth and one, fourth and two. <clears throat> Minute 15 and counting. Fourth and two from the nine. Twins right, split left. Try to get Malvern to jump. No go. Now they've they, only got four. Yeah, they got five on the clock. Got, They're going to have to call timeout. Yeah, but they got four co coaches on the field, too. They will take a timeout. Yeah, they were just trying to run this clock down as much as possible. Try to get into the right play. With 53.9 seconds left in the half, Leopards lead 20 to seven. We'll be back after this. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step, and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you, with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. Welcome you back in to Mountain or to Clyde Man Stadium. Fourth and two. Here's the snap. Looking to run forward. He's going to have enough. As he's going to get down to around the nine yard line. First and goal for the Rams. They put big old number 44 in there and uh, snapped it directly to him. And I don't. Says it, uh, Grady. Omen. Grady Omen. Big sophomore. Grady. Oh, man. Oh, man. 45 seconds and counting left here in the half. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Both teams out of timeout, so. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Hermosillo looking to throw. Ten. Now he's going to oh, throw no, it that, away. No. That's illegal. That. Come on, that's you got to get. Do you have to get it to the line of scrimmage in high I school? Think, yeah, but he, there was nobody there. I do think you have to get it past the line of scrimmage. Well, he was out of the pocket, so I mean, he cleared that hurdle. But I don't think he got the ball back to the line of scrimmage. I believe the flag does there fly. Is, will there be there intentional we go. grounding. Yeah. That's down end distance, isn't it? Is it too much to ask for a 31 second runoff? <laughs> We'll back the Rams up to the 14-yard line. Also is a loss of down, so it will be right. first and go or second and goal, sorry, from the 14-yard line. Crank white hat. There is. He's cranking it. There you go. Come on. Clock started. Well, the hey, gonna, not on a penalty. Just, just a play clock. Twins right, split left. Find number 10. Haywood to the right of Hermosillo. Hermosillo rolling to his right. All right, he didn't run a route. Looking for his man. He's going to be pushed out of bounds around the five-yard line. That was Howard. Yeah. We got another flag, guys. That comes in an area where it might be. Could be defensive, defensive holding yeah. again. Which is going to be an automatic first down. But they'd have to give up some yardage. So do they want third and five, or do they want third and goal from the five, or do they want – because holding's five yards. I'm assuming it's defensive holding. They are talking with Lakeside's mm -hmm. coaching staff. Ooh, he's deep in thought. Did you so see that? I'm, Thinker pose. I'm guessing you're, you're, looking at, you're looking at third and five or first and ten. His defensive and holding. They're going to take the penalty, so that should carry an automatic first down, right? Yes. But they're not going to get it all the way up to the five. So they're going to lose some – well. They're going to put it at the seven. They're going to be at the seven. Seven-yard penalty. Well, huh. i tell you what, for a quick going ball game, this first end of the first – Half has just drug out for another hour. 
24.7 seconds left. Twins right, split left. Hermosillo looking to throw. Got a man wide, across wide the middle. Open, Touchdown, Rams. Ben Vinson, I believe, was the receiver for the Rams. That's 34, wasn't it? I think 84, is it not? Mm, 84, okay. I was going to say, yeah, 84. Villanez on to attempt the extra point. Kick is away, and it is good. 20.5 seconds left here in the second quarter. We got a ball game. Leopards lead it 20 to 14. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment. 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here, Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. 20.5 seconds left here in the second quarter. Leopards leading 20 to 14, but momentum on the side of Lakeside right now. Villanez kick is away. Gonna be fielded by Cagle around the 19 yard line. He's gonna look to get to the outside. Now oh. cuts up, going to oh, fall down just short of the 30-yard line. Looks like he had a face mask, but he missed, I missed that one. We are going to give him the 30. The 15.5 seconds. Ben, do you take a shot here, or are well, you just happy to go in with the lead? It seems like we had a similar situation yeah. time and <laughs> time and uh position on the field against Glen Rose and we took a knee if I remember correctly at the end of the first half so we'll see if that's that was actually we were but we, we were trailing we were trailing but by, by this score at halftime at Glen Rose but we had the ball coming back man split to each side will be a knee from Cedric Simmons illegal oh. procedure the Leopards. Now that might just make Coach Plumley mad enough to take a shot. I doubt it. You don't. You don't see a lot of procedure penalties when you try to take a knee. No. Normally they'll just let you. I run mean, the clock yeah. out. <laughs> nobody has any timeouts. You think we'd just yeah. be content? But here we are. Same formation for the Leopards. Clock is running anyway. Don't even have to snap it if they don't want to, but they will. Take a knee, and that'll do it for the first half. Oh, Jack Bullho said, if you're going to rush, I'm going to finish yeah, the block. I'm, I'm going to finish the block. <laughs> Leopards lead this one 20 to 14, but uh, going to have to overcome the yeah. swift and momentum to begin the second half. Yeah. Well, we're going to hear a few words from our sponsors, and we'll be back in just a minute. Oziel Martinez will kick the ball off to the Leopards. I got a correct correct per pronunciation of Lakeside's quarterback Hermosillo. Hermosillo. Okay. Back deep to receive. Wolf and Ballard for the Rams. Kick lands at the 30. Going to bounce up into the air. Fielded by Wolf. He's over the 25. Well, now goes there backwards. Eventually going to fall over the 25, but they're just going to call it the 25. Nice play there by Talon Accord. Yes. Really good job of hitting him there and, and uh, wrapping up and holding on. It is because you're talking about <clears throat> the most dynamic player that they have, and you're making an open, open field, field tackle, tackle where yeah. if he jukes you, <clears throat> he's got some space to pick up a lot of green right there. So really, really nice play by Talon Accord. Get that open field tackle because – in your mind, I mean, in that split second, you're thinking, make the tackle, make the tackle, make the tackle, because you know you don't want to miss. Pass complete out to Howard. 
Gets over the 30 down to around the 27-yard line. Going to bring up around second and three. Yeah, that was just a quick hitter out there, Ben. Maybe that's what Lakeside's going to try to do the second half here to negate the charge and the, that the Leopards are putting on them, the Russian. Hurry to the line. Twins right, twins left. Try to get Malvern to jump. No go. Hermosillo now calls out the play. Second and three from the 32-yard line. Here's the snap, rolling left, looking to throw out to Wolf. He goes down and makes the catch. It's like he's right around the 37-yard right, line. Right on the, right on the first and ten. Yeah, I think he picked it up. Yeah, they're going. Yep, first and ten first Rams. And 10. That's just two quick down and outs, and. and We'll see if they continue with that scenario. Yeah, they have not utilized the middle of the field in the passing uh -huh. game. I mean, even the, the short stuff and the long stuff, have, they've all been to the sideline. Other than the one touchdown. The second touchdown was in the middle. Yeah, that was a – I guess you – Slant. Slant, yeah, yeah, to Vincent. That was Garrett on the carry. He's going to pick up two on first down, down to the 39-yard line, make it second and eight for the Rams. Howard comes in to give him a spell. He'll be to the right of Hermosillo. Yeah. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Give is to Howard. Going to try to cut back. We have a flag. False start. That'll back the Rams up five. And Seth, I think you mentioned it in the first half. I mean, if you're looking for different sparks in the game for Lakeside, Hermosillo has been a big spark for them. I mean, because he can do a lot – a lot of different things. I mean, he's athletic. He can get outside. He's much more willing runner. Yeah, he'll move than the starting him, yeah. quarterback. And just he, he's shown a lot of poise and confidence for a guy that started second string today. Second and thirteen. Hermosillo looking to pass. Going to be wrapped up in the backfield. Oh come on! Uh, uh. That was attempting to be a heads up play there by Hermosillo. Forward progress was clearly stopped. Even if you're complaining that the pass was away, it was incomplete anyway, so I don't understand your argument yeah. here. That would have been something if uh, 14 E-Mart would run up there and intercepted that. <laughs> yeah, that, that argument would have changed yeah, quite that, quickly, that, wouldn't that it? Yeah, real quick, wouldn't it? Going to bring up a third and looks like 17 for the Rams. And, of course, you should you should want the officials to protect your quarterback somewhat. I mean, when they're in the grass yes. like that, you're, you want them to protect them until it benefits you. That's right. <laughs> Twins to each side. Fine Wolf. He's down here on the bottom. Got a flag. Going to be flag. a delay of game. This, I think, same kind of situation that happened to Malvern in the first half. There was a discussion that ate into the clock. Yeah. This time it goes against the Rams. So that puts the Rams even deeper in the hole back uh Closer to the Leopard Field house. And that's going to bring up a what, third? And they've got a third 22. And tw 22. Twins to each side. Howard goes to the left of Hermosillo. Here's 10 down here, and he's looking at him right across the middle. Hermosillo flushed out of the pocket. Still rolling around, looking for somewhere to go. Going to air it out, looking for Wolf, and it is close. We'll see if he got a foot in. They say no. no. Out of bounds. That was that very was close. close. Woo, that was close. I tell you what, that uh, number two, your lakeside quarterback really did a really good job of extending the play, extending the play, keeping the play going, and then uh, almost, I mean, he completed a pass and just almost made a huge play to get him out of a deep hole. It certainly was close. Uh, he had the best, the best look down the line. He said yeah. he did not stay in. I wouldn't have argued if he'd have called it complete. That's either. how close it that's was. How, yeah. That's what I, I was, you know, I was 50-50 on it. Fourth and 22. Dylon Caradine, Dante Cagle back to receive. From really Malvern. nice putt. Oh. Goes over the head of Dante Cagle, lands the 35, takes a ram bounce. Going to go out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Malvern will take over from there. Well, the Leopards did what I really, what we wanted them to do, and what we, what I personally hoped they would do. And I'm sure my my compadres here too. You know, you you, you stop them. You, you, you get a turnover, and you, we get the ball back. And uh, 
protect the six point lead that we've got now and get old Mo back over here or, on this orange and black and uh, get us going. Yeah, and of we course, were kind of flat. And, and the last possession we, the last yeah. real possession we had ended with a fumble. You want to, yeah, you want to get out on the field as quickly as possible and get that taste out of your yeah. mouth and have something positive happen. So here's an opportunity for the Leopard offense to do exactly that. Twins left. Shift Dupree into the backfield to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap give is to Dupree. Going to break through the line. Get over the 45. Yeah, That's a good start to get that nasty taste out of your mouth. Yeah. Well, 47. Well, 46. They're, they're dancing with it. Nevertheless, it's a first down Leopards. Christian Bell, number eight for the Rams. I think he Dupree gets by him. It's, it's a foot race. First and 10 from the 47 yard line. Man split to each side. Two up backs on the left. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree off the left side again. Following his blockers nicely, now lowering wow. his shoulders and wow. bruising through there that's near just, another first down. That's, that's what we got used to seeing. We were kind of in awe of last year, Ben. Remember as he broke in early in the year and, and got better and better. Now it's like, uh, that's just old Jalen doing Jalen's thing. Yeah, and it kind of, you, you kind of get the feeling that they just decided, okay, let, let's, let's let's put go. the women and children to bed but, and let's yeah. go looking for supper. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're just going to hammer that left side and pound away because they got a lot of blockers over there. They're not hiding it. Here's the snap give to Dupree again off the left side. Going to try to power forward across the 40-yard line down to the 38, looks like. A lot of late contact going yeah, on here. Yeah, yeah. See if we can't get a little control of the game well, here. Well, there, there's a lot of pride on that offensive line, and so that's, you know. If I was going to pick one group yeah. to poke the bear a little bit, the offensive line would not be that line, yeah. that, that position group that I would decide to poke. Well, and, and during the halftime, when we was talking to Coach Wolford, he made a statement too. Coach Bar uh, Daryl Baker's back doing that offensive line, and there's not many better. A little shake and bake. Second and five from the 38. Pitch out to Cagle. Across the 40, 35. Right. Got a flag as he's brought down around the 31-yard line. Two flags down. Yeah. Looks like there Jaylen's, might be signaling a... Jalen's thinking he got a caught chop a hold or a chop block. Yeah, he said, it's on me. You know, on the offensive side of it, we haven't seen a whole lot out of uh, Kalon Janelle. Uh, you know, we're going to chop block. Okay. Keelan. Keelan's, you know, he's, he's that big big number five out there. And would you just kind of wait for him to break through and do something because he hasn't disappointed us yet, has he? Well, you're, you're wanting to get his confidence back after that long pass play he had. Yeah. That, that did result in the fumble. You, you want to see him have some kind of positive impact here, get his, you know, this is actually a really good spot to, to find him in the middle of the field. Twins to each side. Simmons looking to throw out to Caradine. Complete. Going to be pushed out of bounds. Just shy of the 45. We'll call it the four. Well, they're going to give him the 45. We'll take it. Now going to make it about a third and 12 for the Leopards. Yeah. And really, to make this a, a makeable fourth down, you, you'd – you're probably wanting to get five or six right here. You don't have to get all of it. You feel if you can get it to the 35, 36 yard line or so, then you feel like that's you're definitely going to go for it yeah. at that point. But if you can get about half of it right here, you'll feel like you've done your job on third down. Yeah, yeah. Twins to each side. We're going to have a flat. Now we're going to have to get about 11 yards on this play. <laughs> The most procedure slash offsides penalties we've seen all yeah. year. Side judges earning their keep tonight. Also notice, too, they've got Caradine and uh, Dupree out here on this lined up and Dupree in the slot out here on this bottom side. Third and 17. Simmons takes the snap looking to throw. Now steps up in the pocket over the 45. Oh, Ooh, he's hit and dropped. Nice, nice open field tackle there. Gets down to the 41, so that'll make it fourth and eight. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sid, Sid broke to the outside and Levin broke to the outside with him, and there was a collision there. And, and uh, that was, uh, looks like Landon Matthews. Fourth and eight. Leopards come to the line. Twins to each side. Janelle the up back on the left. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw, and we have another flag. Okay, we must not be. He, he must. We're not lining up properly or getting set out here on this side. JD said, "What are we doing?" Huh. Well. Now you may punt it. Yeah, yeah gonna that's going to change the attitude of things. That's been the story of drives that don't end in scores for the Leopards this year. It unfortunately has been self-inflicted most of the time. Simmons punt oh, is away. Wow. It's a good one. It's going to land just short of the 10, takes a lakeside bounce, going to be fielded around the 14-yard line. Pretty good punt, though. Nice punt. <sighs> well, the leopard started out pretty good and then just kind of sputtered, sputtered, and uh, once again, the yellow hankies on the uh, – on the green turf yeah, has just, been their worst enemy. The way we were running the football, you felt like if, if we didn't get get the penalties, we were going to just be able to just yeah. play smash mouth yeah. football and right into the end zone. But it's tough to play smash mouth football when you're playing behind the sticks, third and 12, third and 17. First and 10 from the 15, twins to each side, Howard to the left of Hermosillo. Hermosillo looking to throw. Going to be complete right at the 20-yard line. Tough to read the numbers. I'm going to say that was Skylar Purefoy. Is that 84? I think 14. 14. I got the four part of it. Yeah, once again, Lakeside, yes, 14. Lakeside just went to that down-and-out slant. Twins left, split right. Bring Purifoy in motion. Here's the give to Howard off the left side. Looking to get upfield. There's nothing there. Ball's on the ground. I believe Bennett got may it. have it. He does. The leverage got it. Uh, 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 uh. Well, you got to be careful with they, how, you, they, how you put that ball on the ground. Well, Ben, I'll tell you this. I've sat there and watched Boy, win or whatever. Yes, yes. Do all kinds of stuff Ooh, tonight. I think we really, it. Yeah, 34 is really, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess he's he's that so, but I was a little, you know, he's playing so hard there early. But then I, like you brought that up, I have personally been watching him and. Uh, uh, Going to bring up first and ten from the 14-yard line for the Leopards. Running man, we're, we're going to go right behind Jonathan Woodson, Vinny, a little bit right here. Give is to Dupree. He's got a little bit of room. Lowers the shoulder and boom. Ran over number eight. That's that's that's. Yep. Jalen Dupree, just being Jalen Dupree. J and just, just went right behind Woodson and, and Winters. And Look at Simmons. He's ready to go. They had blocked their men all the way down to the five-yard line. Simmons saying, let's get set. Here it is. Give is to Dupree. Lakeside Ooh, ready for that. it. Let They're going to bring him that. down in the backfield. Loss of about three on that one. Yeah. Going to bring up second goal from yeah. the six-yard line. Seth's got to come out. They lost his helmet. I think it's Dupree that lost Dupree, his helmet. I'm sorry. Jalen did. Raise the roof. Reset the clock. There we go. Dante Cagle on to. Must be one of those Cincinnati Bearcat chin straps. <laughs> Is that something? My Lord. <laughs> we spent more time, TV timeouts, looking for helmets on the ground up there than we did anything. Sec I knew there was a lot of them, but I didn't realize there was 12 or 13. All right, let's go. Looks like Cedric Cook's been in the backfield you now. No, no, that's Cagle. I there that it was. is. There it is. Simmons takes the carry into the end zone. Touchdown, Leopards. Yeah, that's one of those situations. Said just called his old number, Ben. Yep. Well, you know, Dupree's not in the game, and so, you know, if you're – you got two main weapons to run the football. One of them's Dupree, one of them said. If one of them's got to take a play off or a helmet thing or anything else, you've got 1A. They're, they're, it's, it's really not a 1A <laughs> and 1B situation. It's a 1A and 1A situation. Yeah, and, yeah. Caradine on to hold. Martinez to kick. You got it. 
Kick is away and it is good. With 5.07 left here in the third quarter, Leopards lead it 27 to 14. We'll be back after this. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett, and I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday night starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. Leopards take advantage of the turnover forced. Now lead this one 27 to 14 after a Simmons six yard touchdown run. 5.07 left here in the third quarter. Ozzie L. Martinez on to kick off for the Leopards. Will be Wolf and Ballard back to receive for the Rams. That was that was really a, a good answer there. Getting the turnover, stopping them, and then you know then they stopped us and come back and getting the turnover and uh, taking advantage of it, not taking any time and just going ahead and, and scoring. Martinez steps it off. Kick is away. Going to be fielded at the 25. Uh, that that was, was a fair was catch. A fair catch. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was. Yep, there's the flag. Yeah. You can't take off running yeah. after you fair catch it. Well, yeah. and that's really, <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that that's really on the official because he stopped yeah. and he didn't hear a whistle and he was like, oh, they didn't call it. Yeah. So, you know, I'd actually, I actually would put that one on the official because they did not. They did not blow the whistle at the catch, and so the young man thought, <laughs> "Well, if I just stand here, I'm going to get hammered. Somebody's going to have a better yeah. run." There, they waved it off. There, he waved it off. Waved the flag off. Okay. Which is, I mean, that's that's fair. I, I'm, as much as I would love to back him up, I just I, I think that I, I disagree, guys. I disagree. The rules, the rule. <laughs> the rules, the rule. Yeah, but okay, then so. take the knee if you were gonna <laughs> if you were gonna fair catch it okay. anyway. Then take the knee. First and 10, ball on the 25, twins to each side. Hermosillo looking to throw. Going to air it out long. Clegg's got a beat on it. Wow. Actually, it's going to be caught by Man. Wolf. We wow. did that exactly. I wow. mean, wow. That's a great did, play. Did it exactly right, and Wolf great just went play. up there and got it. Great play. I'm not sure he didn't take that out of the hands of Yeah, I, 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 I think he did. I, think I mean, he it's took just it away a, from him. I, re I really do. He just, you know, Clegg put himself in great position for interception, and Wolf just. Big, strong, powerful kid. Can't say enough. You know, we mentioned him before the game started. He's the focal point of this offense, and, and we're seeing why. He is, a, he is a dynamite football player. First and ten from the 49-yard line. Twins to each side. Hermosillo rolling right. Now looking to throw. Oh. Receiver falls down. Martin tries to get over the top and intercept it, but unable to do so. He was looking for Howard. Comes up a little bit gimpy. Looks like he might be Howard, cramping a little bit. Howard gimped up, and uh, I'm going to see it. The number two, your quarterback just gimped up, too. He cramped up. This is almost like uh, elementary football, you know, where the coach just gives them the play in the huddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I that's, mean, that, that's how far out McBride far is McBride, every that's, that's single how play. That's McBride is. And they haven't said anything to him. Feels like he's just in there. We're going to run 42 gin, guys. 42 yeah. gin. Okay. All right. Ready, break. Ready, ready, break. That'll bring Douglas back out at quarterback. Here's the snap. Give this to Howard. Looking to run up the middle. Nothing there. He's going to lose one or two. Back to the 50-yard line. Yeah. Leopards need one more of those. Another loss or stop right there. Yeah. He 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 fought hard, but Landreth got that paw on him and just just held him still and. Called for the reinforcements, and they showed up. They showed up and got a tackle for loss out of the whole situation there. Third and 11 from the 50-yard line. Twins right, split left. Howard to the right of Douglas. He Here's moved. The snap. Ten he got moved. off a little moved. early. There he is. Yep. Okay, yeah, he did. Oh, we know that man's going to call it. Yeah, well, we know he's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's already pretty good. We don't need to let him get a head start. Hey, that kid that did a head start. That'll make it third and 16 from the 45-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
Would not at all be surprised to see them go back to that fade. Twin, they were Hurley again right there. Just Landris again. Play. I think, I mean, everybody kind of stopped and yeah. assumed it was going to be a <laughs> false start. I mean, it looked like it was clear to me. And yeah. Awkward play. Landreth got after Douglas and brings him down. Yeah, you, you, <clears throat> you talk about plugging in a square peg in the square hole out there on the end. I tell you, we did with 55. I mean, they moved in. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's going to mess he's around there. and find himself on, on an all-conference team. Yeah. He's going to fool around and get himself on some lists. Lakeside pun is away. Right at he Carolina. knuckleballed that. Oh, it's going to take a leopard bounce. Get away from it. Yeah, Ethan Martin, unbeknownst to him, got close to it. <laughs> that looks like uh, Ron McNamara sandwich. <laughs> no, I never had a sandwich. That <laughs> <high back stuff. laughs> if it was about six feet high and skull, that'd be my sandwich. <laughs> looks like an Austin Warford forward. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll go that Austin Warford forward. I'll go that. He did. It was at the uh, the Luau Par Three tournament last year. He took out a four wood, he rolled keeps that the thing four wood up, in and the back, put he? it in the hole. <laughs> the man plays golf with a sixty degree, a four wood, a driver, and a putter, uh -huh. and does it quite well. He does quite well at it. First and ten from the thirty seven yard line. Twins right for well, the Leopards. Give is the debris off the left side. Gonna fall forward over the forty down to the looks like they're gonna say thirty nine yard line. We've got three minutes and ten seconds left here in the third quarter. Leopards lead this one twenty seven to fourteen. Uh second down and then have possession of the ball and we're going. We're moving. I see some lightning off in the east again, guys. Not like we had last Friday night, but I see it way out there. You sensing a pattern? <laughs> I'm telling you. I was a little worried there for a while. Second and six for the Leopards. Twins right. Up back off the right side. Dupree to the left of Simmons. Fakes the give to Dupree. Simmons looking to run. He's uh -oh, got a lot of room. Uh -oh. One man to uh -oh. beat. Bad angle. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He uh -oh. Oh. unable to break the tackle. <laughs> Big uh -oh. run there for Simmons. He's going to get all the way down to the 21-yard line. Almost able to elude yeah. him and might have been gone if he was able to do so. Yeah. Eight, that number eight for the Lakeside, that's Christian Bell. Chris, Bell had really had, had a nice angle on him and, and took the right angle or it had been uh, another seven or another six. Christian Bell, huh? Yep. He's Batman. Number eight, Christian Bell. I don't I can't see that without my glasses. Lakeside has to run a man on late. That was Bell. Give his to Dupree <laughs> over There's the 20. Dupree. 15. Oh, Stiff oh, arms man. a man to the ground. <laughs> Down to the 10-yard line. You know, th there's not a lot more that I love to watch than, than a high school pl kid playing grown man football. And Jalen Dupree plays grown man he plays, football. He plays big boy football, all right. That was the a, stiff arms, the trucks. <laughs> the, that was uh, shades of uh, Josh Allen last night there. Oh, man. You're going to get me talking about my bills. We'll be here all night, baby. Hit that dump button. <laughs> First first and goal, ball on the 10-yard line. Twins left. Here's the snap. Fakes the give to Dupree. Simmons looking to run. Got some room. Oh, Makes wow. a man miss, oh, and he wow. is in there. Cut. Touchdown, Simmons. You got, you got to, <laughs> I know you saw this if you're watching this on television, on the on YouTube. you got to watch that again. I mean, that's amazing. That's just – that's set. Boy, did we miss yeah, that that's, that's That's three parts. <laughs> Guts, three parts athleticism, and two parts instinct. You yeah. just That's a lot of parts. It. It's a lot of parts. It's a lot of it's parts. A, it's, it's eight parts. <laughs> it's a lot of moving parts there. A lot there. of moving parts there. Okay. Uh, Caradon hold. Martinez kick is away. Going to be wide uh, left. No good. With 2.04 left here in the third quarter, Leopards lead it 33-14. We'll be back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Kasasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. We welcome you back to Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. Leopards 
score after a 10 yard run from Simmons. Lead it 33 to 14. Martinez yeah. kick is away, gonna land at the 20. Fielded by Ballard, I believe. Oh. Makes Romir Bennett miss, still trying to run now to the outside. Cagle giving chase, gonna bring him out, or bring him down around the 43 yard line. Whoa. We got a flag fly, could be a. Oh, they're getting a little chippy now. Could be a hit in the back there. I think. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is a rivalry that goes back a long, long time. You, I mean, know, you know, we've been playing Lakeside for, I mean, literally decades. I mean, I know this is a non-conference game, but for a long time we were both in the AAA Southwest yeah. and we played for decades against I, I, each other. I was, you know, I was talking to Coach Plumley about this this morning, and he was kind of like, he was kind of downplaying, you know, that he didn't, he didn't think it was quite the, the, the rivalry. But I, I said, nice you know, you go back a few years, and, and this was a huge rivalry, and I, I think it still is. You know, and really what happened is, like, for so long, Malvern just – I mean, just, like, we're going to call it what it is. We beat the brakes off of Lakeside yeah, yeah, for yeah, decades. For decades, yeah. Then right around the early 2000s. Yeah. They kind of started getting it going a little bit, and we beat them in 2005. I can tell you that. Yeah, right here, Claude Mann Stadium. Twins left, split right. Hermosillo back onto the field, where he will take off. Ooh, ooh. He's going to be brought down kind of awkwardly. Yeah. Lakeside really started to put well put, when Gary, put some money in into the program in the late 90s. Gary with Sie that complex. Gary Seegers went in yeah. there and and, and, and and turned things a little bit. And uh, one thing, remember Coach Seegers in your prayers. I just all I got just, just he's he needs your prayers. Ooh. Whoops. I think we might have been a little offside. It'll be second and two. Malvern a little anxious, kind of give Lakeside the free first down there. Once again, the yellow hankies hit the, the turf. But yeah, Coach Seegers, he, he talked to Coach Alpe's induction, yes. and he yeah. said, you know, when he took the job, Coach Alpe called and said, well, I'm not going to lie to you. You got a long road to hoe down yeah. there at Lakeside, <laughs> but said he was very, very helpful. Coach Alpe was yeah, in helping him get that Lakeside program up and running. Good First friends. and 10 from the 30. Hermosillo steps up uh -oh. in the pocket. He's got a lot of room to run. He's over the 15, 10, dives forward near the five yard line. Did have a flag fly. That was a launch of a flag. Oh, and I, I hate to see this for this young man because he has been cramping. really good. I hope it's just a cramp. He, uh, Malvern you know, actually he, helping him stretch a little bit. He got down okay. there and he tried to do the little uh, shake and bake, and, and that's when he got – I believe he just kept going one way. He might have scored. Nope. Yeah, I believe oh, it was. Oh, look at there. That's, hey, that's on us, and it's declined. I did not anticipate us getting a penalty right there no, on that I part of the field. I just saw him right there on in, in signal again, and I didn't get the call. Mark, did you get the call? Yeah, hold. Hold, Okay. Hmm. I was getting ready to reference Ron reference, referencing Talladega Knights, Cal Naughton Jr. You got to <laughs> shake it before you bake it. Hermosillo is able to get up. Looks like it is just a cramp. Th yeah. <laughs> So that's going to bring. Hey, listen, we've all had Douglas back we, on. We've the field. all had him, and it's not just a cramp. I mean, no, no, like, you're right. You're you right. Like I, your leg, you just go ahead and cut my leg off. I'll what I, what I mean by that <laughs> yeah, is nothing serious. Yes, I know. yes, yes. Like, yeah, just a cramp. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and cut my leg off. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Certainly don't want anything. Do you very know? Serious. Do you know the history Big behind 40, the behind the term Charlie Horse? Big forty fours back. Grady, Grady, man, Ben. He's going to try to run it up the middle, fighting for yardage. Not going to have much. Not going I'm going to call that a no gain there. Do you know the story behind the term Charlie Horse? I don't. I don't either. I don't either. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> I was open when y'all knew. That was anticlimactic right there. I can make right there. up. I mean, I, I was I, open I, when I, you guys knew. I, I once had a horse named Charlie. Does that make you feel better? No. Now, now I'm going to go home no. and Google that, I guess. Yeah. An update next week from Mississippi on where yeah. the term Charlie Horse came. Or if you know, you That's might right. text one of us and let us know. Another new quarterback in. That will be 
Kyle oh, Wolf. That's, that's Wolf. That's Wolf. Yeah. Go well, he's playing quarterback. Direct oh, snap. Wow. He's oh, going to wow. fight off a would-be tackle. Stiff arms carried on trying he his best, but unable to do so. Wolf will score. Yeah. That kid's a baller. Yeah, he is. He went to the left, 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 ran into a bunch of them, broke loose, and turned around to his right and uh, was able to get in for the Rams to bring it to uh, – 33-14 with 4.7 seconds left here in the third quarter. Those are the kind of plays that will drive defensive coaches nuts because they had it bottled had it, up. Yep, great, yep. great play call defensively. Felt like you should have had him in the backfield. Make a few guys miss and then powers his way into the end zone. Villainous on to attempt the extra point. Pretty good leg. It is good. 4.7 seconds left here in the third quarter. Malvern leads this one 33-21. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back here, Claude Man Stadium, David Alpe Field. Just under five seconds left here in the third quarter. Leopards lead this one 33-21. Malvern staying alert to what could be a quick onside kick, but not going to be. Number 37, Denver Davidson, has teed the ball up. Kick away for Lakeside. Will be Dupree and Cagle back deep to receive for the Leopards. Yeah. Onside kick, fielded. By Some, Janelle. Janelle. Janelle, yeah. Malvern will get a great starting field position. Gosh, yeah. That You know what? That says a lot about Janelle, that he would be in a position like that, <laughs> hand situation, because he's had a few drops this year already where he's kind of took his head downfield looking to run before catching it. But that just tells you the faith that the coaching staff has oh, the right kids, there. Oh, the kid's got – He's got great hands. Great hands, great athletic ability, and, and size, speed. Uh, good kid. I mean, he just, he's got a lot going for him. First and ten for the Leopards. Cagle and Dupree in the backfield with Simmons. Simmons going to run. He's over the 50, 45, falls forward near the 40. We'll give him the 41-yard line. First down, Malvern. Well, that's just a direct snap back to number three, Ben, and uh, see what you can do. That will do it for the third quarter. Leopards leading 33-21. We'll be back after this. Red River Dodge of Malvern is thrilled to support the Leopards on the gridiron this season. Make sure you rush over to malverndodge.com to check out all the rebates on our new Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Rams. We can't wait to support these guys all season. They work so hard all year long to represent our community on and off the field. Help us cheer on the team tonight. Go Leopards! Good, bro? I mean, you all right, Chief? You all right, Chief? Uh-oh. Malverndodge.com. Go Leopards. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpe Field. Start of the fourth quarter, Leopards leading this one 33-21. Oh. Take the snap, give his to Dupree. He's going to lose yardage. That's a little different look there. Looks like it's going to be a loss of about four. Yeah. Three or four. Call it three. I looked like one they were trying to finesse instead of just bulldog, and, and uh, the Rams had that one figured out. I expect them just to go back and you know, hit them in the mouth now. Well, you, and you might wonder if we lulled them asleep enough to take a shot over to Caradine, too. Second mm -hmm. and 13. Simmons takes the snap looking to run over the 40, now getting to the outside. 35-30. Wow. Pulling guys down near the 25, give him the 27-yard line. First down, Leopards. Yeah, that's – yeah. Boy, you just – you just – you can't take your eyes off of that kid. He's going to beat you with his arm. He's going to beat you with his legs. He's going to beat you with his brains. Yeah, and he, he understands that it, what the defense knows about him. They know he's fast, and so, you know, he'll do a little stutter step like he's going to – really punch it to the outside, and yeah. they'll, they'll cheat out, and then he'll cut back in. He's yeah. not afraid to cut it back to the middle, which a lot of quarterbacks are. Right. Yep. They don't like to go back to the middle, but he's not afraid of that at all. Give his Dupree on first down, not a whole lot there. I believe it's going to be no gain. 
Yeah, Seth, I think you may be right. Lakeside's kind of selling out, trying to stop the run right here. And <clears throat> I, I, I think that makes you makes you wonder if at some point we don't take a shot. You're in four down territory, so it's it's really kind of like first and eleven in a way because you're gonna you got three downs to try to get it. We'll be second and 11, twins right. Here's the snap, Simmons looking to run. Spins around a guy, going to fall forward across the 25. Simmons is also using Dupree's kind of a decoy there because it looks to me like at halftime, the Rams said, you know, number two is not going to beat us. That'll make it now a third and eight. What I'm really, really interested in here is are we going to try to get all eight on this play or are we going to try to set ourselves up for fourth and short? Got a lot of confusion here. Still plenty of time on the play clock. Twins left, split right. Janelle the up back on the left side. I say we're going for the eight. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Now fresh from the pocket. Tries to get it away. A, that may be a fumble. They're certainly going to call it a fumble. We'll call it a fumble. And we had a holding over on the other side, too. Unfortunately, in high school football, you don't get the benefit of a replay to see if his arm was coming forward or not. There's a little bit of discussion about it, though. Yeah. Well, they've got to give uh, Lakeside the option, I think. Well, there isn't any option if they find one. No, I mean, the yeah, they, they would decline a holding penalty, so I'm... The interesting part to me is the ball went forward, which would seem to believe that his arm might have been coming forward when it was hit. Yeah, I think the, the issue, though, is that the guy that knocked it out came from behind, which means the ball would go forward. So, I believe they're going to call it a forward pass. So now they're going to call it incomplete pass, huh? Which means they probably will accept a penalty. Then. Yeah. Well, they're sending their quarterback out. Yeah, well, they had told him. Both offenses are on the field. Incomplete, Incomplete pass. pass. Holding. Holding on Malvern. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh if I'm McBride, I would be a little bit upset when yeah, you, would, when you yeah. run up there and you're quick to say first down. That's one of those I think you might just gather up and talk about it first before signaling anything. I do think it was a forward pass just based off of the way the ball came out. Yeah, you know, and another thing, too, We're gonna the, be the, way, the way they did it, the way they handled it, I, I can understand why the Lakeside coaches are upset because from that side they don't see it as clear as we do, but still, you know. Well, I would by, just by be the, going, going by Going by the signal. It's like, yeah, okay. I, I would be upset that I they would, signaled first too. down. Yeah. There it is. There we go. Oh. I was wondering when that was coming. Oh, well, that helps out Malvern tremendously. Because that's, that gets the 15 back. It was going to be third and a mile. Boy, that that's one where, as a as a coach, you got to say, okay, we're we're not going to get the call. There's nothing you can mm -hmm. say that's going to get you the call. You've got the team in third and 25, yeah. you know, and, and, and now you've put it in a situation where now we've got two downs yeah. to go 10 yards and get a first down. Yeah, and we're down 12. They, or, oh, they, they're going to give him a sideline warning? They gave warning. him a sideline that's, warning. That's cheap sauce right there is Whoa. what that is. I mean, Whoa. very generous. <laughs> that was very generous. Oh. No, he called it. No, they yeah. are marking no, it off. they're marking it off. Oh, he did call on Okay, line. yeah. Look like he, he – uh, No, he, he's doing telling him. So, I mean, that was a – you're not going to get the call. No, no. And so you put, you put, you know, where Malvern was third and 25, now we got third and 10. And now you better be careful that he doesn't get another one. Be early showers. It's not a long bus ride back to Lakeside. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just, just the general terms what I meant. Not that it was actually going to happen. That'll bring up third and ten after an adventurous series of events. Twins left, split right. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Oh, Across boy. The middle's He's on. He completes it. <laughs> Down to around the two-yard line. First and goal for the Leopards, and Caradine looks like he's cramping. 
<laughs> really tough catch on his part. He went up, got it at, at its highest point. He knew he was going to get hit. hit. Yeah, there he is. He's coming off. Really good concentration. Yeah, it, that's really big now, you, you know, for the coaching staff to uh, – And an absolute dime from Cedric Simmons to yes. throw it right there on the spot. I think Myron's going to have to take a timeout here. Yeah. And it's – J.D. wanted it for some reason. He had his uh, – Let's keep it here and talk of – let's just rewind what just <laughs> happened in the last few minutes. Had a questionable call there. Simmons, to us, it certainly looked like it was a forward pass, pass, but initially ruled a fumble. Obviously what sparked the controversy there from Coach McBride, but as Ben said – you're looking at a third and 25, a heave and a prayer. You're in, still in a good situation with your defense. Yeah, the odds yeah. are you're going to get the ball back yeah. without giving up any points. You're looking at a third and 25, and you're back on what, uh, their 39, 40-yard line in there yeah, somewhere? I mean, you're, you're, yeah. You're losing some time on the clock, and I understand it's two scores. You're losing some time on the clock and some field position, but you, you didn't hand us a first down. And you're only twelve. But you walked it halfway. That's yeah, right. and, and you're only, more than halfway. And you're only yeah. twelve. You're only twelve down at that point. Still twelve down at this point. And now, if you're lakeside, side, you gotta you bow gotta, your neck. You here. gotta bow your neck down. And uh, and really interesting. If it had been a player that did it, he's yeah. running for days. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, one hundred percent. Yeah. Welcome to the stadium steps, boys. First and goal from the two-yard line. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to run. He's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Malvern. Nine twenty left here in the fourth quarter. That makes it 39-21, Leopards. Looks like Coach Pumley might be signaling two. You know that might this might be a good opportunity to go, if you you know if you everybody's got a two point conversion play in, might be a good try, time to try it. Elect to move the ball over to the left hash mark. Leopards will go for two. Well, and, and a lot of different options for Malvern to get two yards because you got power runner like Dupree, you got a running quarterback like said, you've got a guy that can said can sprint out and find guys. You've got. Big six foot five tight end. Yeah. Now we've we've something's happened here. Couldn't get the right formate or right personnel no. group out on the field. Nope. Going to have to use the second time out of the half. Coach Pump Plumley is not real happy with that series of events right there. No, he, certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a it's not. I, kind I, of like reading his body language. It's like oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> to give, to, to JD, give any, JD, any kind of excuse there, to he, give any kind of excuse, just let the kids are probably <laughs> expecting the on, or the yeah, extra point, yeah. caught off guard. Yeah, he said, let me just get away from him here so I don't say anything. I don't, you know, I don't want him to hear. But <laughs> unable to get the right grouping out there that they wanted. Yeah. So what are we going to do now? And Lance is coming off, so he got his off. Maybe he's got his offense set now. To we're we're still going to go for two, it appears, yeah. but we're going to move the ball back to the middle back of the to field. The middle now. of the field, okay. So interesting that we've got Janelle split, kind of split out to the slot. Twin. Not in one of his normal blocking. Twins to each there side. It is Janelle slant route. Janelle, nice call, Ben. Two point conversion is good. <laughs> That's good. It's good to see number five get one. Hang on to it and get some points. That'll make it 41-21. 9.20 left here in the fourth quarter. We'll be back after this. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation is here for you. Whether illness or injury sideline you, Encore will tailor a rehabilitation program for your needs. Meet Helen Haley, one of our rehab residents. And what'd you come to Encore for? Because I couldn't walk. How's your experience been here? On it's, been, it's been good. They, everybody's good. Everybody treats me good. They feel good. It's just, it's just been, it's been wonderful. Encore Healthcare and Rehabilitation and the Malvern Leopards, a winning combination. Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpey Field. 
Oziel Martinez. <laughs> we got twelve guys out there. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, I think nine. we're we're we might have had doing thirteen. Some, we're doing some substituting here. <laughs> here we go. We'll run two off. Yeah. Run three uh, well, off. Not now. Now we're gonna have uh, one, Oop. two, three, four, four five, five, six, five, seven. There we go. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. There we go. Ron, take off your shoes. I've got it. I got them <laughs> off. I'm gonna. <laughs> I got that hole in my sock, and that helped. <laughs> Zio Martinez <laughs> has the ball teed up for the Leopards. <laughs> you said we wasn't going to do math. I know, that's right. <laughs> now, okay. Ball will be caught at the 30-yard line over the 35-40. Got a little uh -oh. bit of room now. Oh, boy. He's up over the 50. Ozzie Martinez trying Can't to take an him. angle, but he's not going to get wow. it. This is going to be a touchdown Rams. Yeah. Ben Vincent. Yes. What big mistake on special teams there. If you're going to kick it short, you'd like to kick it a little higher. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Confucius say. <laughs> that, uh, and, it, you know, it was a near disaster for Lakeside as two guys both went for it, collided yeah. with each other. But I thought they'd almost call for a fair catch back and they ran into each other. And Vincent came away with it and he had reservations for six. Good snap, good hold. Kick is good. 9.08 left here in the fourth quarter. Leopards lead at 41-28. Wow. We'll That's be back after turn. this. Quick turn of the event. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. To bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy, that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite? It's baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday night starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back in Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpe Field. Leopards lead this one 41-28, 9.08 left in the ball game. Yeah, we got the good hands people in there, number two. Are you saying we're with Allstate? His onside kick going to be fielded. <laughs> Who got it? Fell down at the 45-yard line. I believe. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Leopards take over first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Well, <clears throat> I think a Nine, we've got 9.06 left, leading this one 41 to 28. And uh, I, I think the Leopards are going to come back out here, guys. They're going to come out with a, with a sense of purpose, and, and uh, I expect them to find Vinny and say, here you go, Jalen. Going to be first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Twins left. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree. Gets across the first line of defense. Across the 50 down to the 47-yard <laughs> line. Vinny had his guy clear out under the M on the, on the Malvern and logo out there in the middle. You talk about moving somebody out of the way. Vinny says you're going out of the way. Jalen's coming through. Going to bring up a second and two for the Leopards. Malvern appears to be going into a little bit more of the slow down, milk a little bit more clock. Twins left. Janelle the up back on the left side. Dupree to the right of Simmons. Snap give is to Dupree again. 
Shakes off the first man goes. across the 40, 40 there 30. Is. Oh, he just couldn't quite get the corner turn, so he picked up what? Down Five, to the 10, 15, 20. 28 yard 20. line. <laughs> and, he can, and I'm saying he couldn't get the corner turn, right? 47 to the 28. You know, when he gets to was. going, he's got kind of a lope to him. You notice that when he really gets to going and gets, gets, gets up ahead of steam. Not many people want to get in front of him either. Certainly not tonight. That's a, what they say in Major League Two, get off the tracks when the train's coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Clear the tracks, the train's coming through. Twins left, Dupree to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap, oh, high whoa. snap again. Simmons Nelly. going back to field it. Just going to fall on it around wow. the 46 yard line. Good Second high three. snap of the night. And we got a flag. What? But the I'm linesman threw a flag. I'm guessing that's going to be a sideline warning. That would be my most educated guess. Oh, wait a minute. Lakeside's lived off on the field over there. But that's not and his side. And we're on the yet. We're, we're in the white paint getting. <laughs> oh, well. Well, to be fair, Ron. If you're on the field, the side judge won't run into you because he's not on the field. Ah, that's true. That's true. That's, that's true. <laughs> JD's back like he's herding chickens trying to get him to back up. We got a lot of coaches down there. Somebody's got to be the get back coach. Yeah, I've got to have a get hey, back coach. Got to have a get back coach. Listen, I've been down, down there for games. It's been a while, but I've been Good. down there for games where we've backed the kids all the way up onto the pavement and said, do not dare touch the grass. Second and a whole bunch. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was I'll a call that, it 27. That was, that was a high snap over his head. Going to be Dupree on the run off the left side. Ooh. Over the 40 yard line, down to the 39, 38. Looks like 39. Third and long. 7.30 left here in the ball game. We'll call it third 21. And Lakeside still kind of prepared to sell out on the run or the, oh, the blitz. Almost a high snap again, fielded by Simmons. Goes back oh, shoulder, a, back shoulder throw. Good grief. Back shoulder, Caradine. Beautiful throw, great awareness by Caradine. Their connection has been on point tonight. You know, we, we talked early, early on in the first game or two. And you know, I, I, one of my things, who, you know, I even asked, you know, what, you, what side of the ball are you going to put Caradine on? And <laughs> you got to keep yes. him on the off. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes is the best answer. But I, I, I think people need to understand that you know, it, it, it looks like an underthrow, but it's, it's not. It's That's not, exactly not, where exactly he meant to where throw he, it. Yep. The corner was in front of him, so you can't lead him. The only way to complete that pass is to throw it to that back shoulder. Beautiful pass from Simmons. Give is to Dupree. Cuts it up, gets what he can. Looks like it may be a gain of three or four there on first down. As the clock winds under seven minutes. You know, I mean, the quarterback position has gotten so – the high at the high school level has gotten so much more sophisticated from when we played. You know, I mean, these guys are – they're making college level throws and they're they're being taught to make those throws. Uh, nothing like quarterbacks were asked to do back in the nineties, early two thousands. It is a different game than we used to play yeah, yeah. twenty five years ago. I'll share something with you. Coach Plumley was ta talking Here's about the too. Snap. Gives Dupree up the middle, lowers the shoulder, fighting off guys, still trying to go four, gets down to the eight yard line. He was talking about having the advantage. And and he and he named named quite a few quarterbacks that that have that ability that said to, to to run with the good the good he said it it opens so many more things to him. So just basically the good ones are they're doing you know maybe one at the most two reads maybe it's one read and if it's not there then they've got the the ability to take off and run with it and he said that's what Sed's doing he says we hope we got another one coming up from the junior high to do it so. Third and two from the eight-yard line. Simmons looking to run. Going to cut up, have enough for the oh, first down, and maybe well, enough for the touchdown. Gosh. He does. Touchdown, Simmons. How many is that for him tonight? Mark? Yeah, how many? Four? Four TD? 
Five. <laughs> Five touchdowns for Simmons tonight. And uh, none of them was a gimme. Once again, the Leopards take the lead. Not take once again. Take it. They just stretch it out. Martinez on to attempt the extra point. Kick is away. And it's, it's good. 48-28 Leopards with five minutes and 42 seconds left in this one. And the Leopards will be kicking off to the Rams when we return. <laughs> Welcome you back here, Claude Mann Stadium, David Alpe Field. Martinez kicks the ball away, going to be fielded around the 21-yard line. Ballard looking to get upfield. Going to be brought down as he crosses the 35 down to the 36. One of the perks of being back here in Claude Mann Stadium is having stat man Mark Roberts in our ear. 144 yards rushing for Seth Simmons, barely outdoing 143 yards rushing by Jalen Dupree, and... Dylon Caradine is currently up to 192 yards receiving. And that comes back to my question, yes, on which side of the ball to play. Also had an interception that prevented a yes, he does. lakeside score earlier. He's lined up a he's safety, free safety now. Give is to Haywood in the backfield, nowhere to go. He's going to lose yardage. Landreth gets off the top of the pile. Again. <laughs> you know, sometimes the light bulb just comes on. And, yeah. It's like and then when it comes on, <laughs> it just, when, when the, it, it, it's a whole new attitude. And, and that's what really we're seeing like out, out of Landreth is yeah. we're seeing the attitude of a defensive end that wants to make plays. And, you know, guys, it's something we haven't talked about, and, and I'll address with some help from you after this play. Twins to each side, second and 13 for the Rams. Ball on the 33-yard line. Douglas rolling left, looking to throw. Got his man out there around the 40. Going to be pushed out of bounds. That's Wolf again. He's going to have enough for the Ram first down. You know, Ben was 16 and 42 being gone. The replacements have stepped up and the move around. Uh, it's almost like we haven't, we haven't missed a beat, you know. It? Yeah, I mean, well, he, it, it's I mean, helpful that we've got a number of guys that can kind of play hybrid positions. Yeah, Angel can yeah. play on the back end. or He can play in the back seven, the front seven. Uh, Ramir can play safety if, if necessary. He's played almost exclusively linebacker. But, yeah. you know, we've got a lot of guys that can play a lot of different spots. Give to uh, Haywood again. Oh, He's wow. going to be met in the backfield again. I believe that was Talon, or Talon Accord. Yeah. Man, he just – he read that and he yes. just was on go. <laughs> There was no hesitation. He saw it, flew to it, and I'm really surprised that that's Lakeside that's, that's is, is kind of ready to sit on this. That's a, one of the sophomores that uh, Coach Plumley was talking about probably would see some action tonight, and, and uh, he's showing out a little bit. Second and 13, twins to each side. Mm -hmm. Douglas looking to throw out to Wolf again, almost intercepted by Angel Perez, incomplete. One thing Malvern has done is they've – they flip flop between cover two and cover four. Yeah. Cover two is yes. two safeties deep. Cover four is you run four defensive guys deep in a zone. But we disguise everything as cover two. Everything looks like cover, cover two. two. Yeah. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's cover four. So just by looking at the base coverage, looking at what the quarterback's seeing, he doesn't know if we're going to have four guys deep in zone or two. We've done a pretty good job of disguising that. And we've done a pretty good job of sneaking our safeties over at the last second so they didn't know where the safeties were going to be. Third and 13. Screen. Trying to wow. set up a screen to Haywood. Going to fall incomplete. Bring up fourth and 13. Guys, I've been watching number 30. Accord, the sophomore, and uh, they've got him in there playing the Mike middle linebacker, and uh, this kid's active. We saw him make some nice plays Please. against Glenro. Yes, we did. Yes, yeah. And he's another one of those, he's another one of those youngsters that step up, grow up, and play hard, and it's exactly what he's doing. Lakeside on the punt. Will be Caradine and Cagle back to receive for the Leopards. Big punt. Cagle signals for the fair catch. Does so at the 22-yard line. Just over four minutes left in this one. 401. Leopards lead 48-28. Looking to salt this one away. Mm -hmm. 
be very interesting to see who gets the touches right here because you definitely you'd love to run this clock out at the same time you want to you want to walk away with this as healthy as you came into the game yeah there's Cagle and Cagle, Cagle Debris and both Debris. out there so might be a nice mixture here yeah it's kind of scary and I saw, saw it in practice this last week with Cagle and Dupree in the backfield back there and it's like good grief First and ten from the twenty-two. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree up the middle. He's uh -oh. got room. Oh. <laughs> One man away. That was Christian Bell, Batman yeah. himself. Yeah. He came out of the Bat Cave to save a touchdown because yes, if he, he doesn't, did. if he doesn't make that tackle, there is nobody catching Dupree. The he was a. Uh, he was the hero. That would that, have been a stat patter. The hero sure. that Lakeside needed. Is that what we're saying. <laughs> well, a little too late, I think. <laughs> Second and eight for the Leopards. Ethan Martin split out wide for Malvern. Back to each side of Simmons. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree again. Cuts it up. Going to have enough for the first down. Falls down at the 34-yard line. First and <laughs> ten for the Leopards. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm chuckling at. Janelle sitting out here. He's giving all. He's giving the thumbs up. He's giving the first and ten. Malvern bleeds the clock yeah, as we it goes under three minutes. Certainly content to wind this clock down. First and ten from the thirty-four. Five on the play clock. I don't know if we're going to get this off. We might. Do get it off. Oh, I thought we did. Oh, going to be a timeout lakeside. What? Wow. Fascinating that they would let it run That's all the way down to zero yes, before calling timeout. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep it here. They really had 25 seconds of play clock to call <laughs> timeout first. <laughs> Must have saw something at the last second they didn't said, like. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 242 left here in the ball game. Leopards leading 48-28. Just trying to run the clock out and get home. Speaking of getting home. <laughs> you need to get home. No, you got no, an early morning? Next, next Friday. Yeah, I got it. But I'm thinking. Oh, next, you're already thinking about next. next Saturday morning getting home. From, yeah. From Mississippi. Yeah, we, uh, we are proud and honored to be what I believe is probably the first radio broadcast to ever broadcast from out of state out next of state. week. All right. As we well, bring you Leopards from Mississippi, Hernando, Mississippi, to be exact. Ben, do you know how to get down there? We're going to have to, you, you're just going to have to put it Go to Memphis GPS? and turn south, I think, is the way that works. <laughs> yeah, I think that's. Ben's, Ben's my navigator, so I'm just going to turn it over to him. Go to Central Barbecue and turn, <laughs> and turn south. Yeah, I go. know where that one is. <laughs> First and 10 from the 34. Simmons going to get hit in the backfield. Kind of an awkward looking play. Yeah, something happened there. He's going to lose four. Make it second and 14. Clock winding, though. Yeah, just selfishly, I wouldn't mind to see that Pitch to Cagle that worked so well in the <laughs> waning minutes against Glen Rose. It's yeah. Just to see, uh, I, I believe he has not been tackled yet on the stat sheet. Uh, I think you're right. I think he's got one. Second and 14 give is to Dupree, looking to get to the outside. He's over the 35. He's going to slide yeah, down he's inbounds. Just stopping the clock. Yeah. At the 37-yard no, line. Yeah, he's, he's not stopping. He's, stop, he's not. Yeah, stopping. I mean, start. Yeah, he's keeping the clock keeping rolling. Yeah, he's he's the opposite smart. of stopping the clock. That'd be. Yeah, it'd be opposite. Third and seven for the I Leopards. Guess when you get as many yards as Jalen had, you know, you can stop there and not pick up that other three or four, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not be selfish about it. Not be selfish. Well, him it. and Simmons were in quite the battle to see who was going to outrush yeah. the other one tonight. I believe Dupree is taking the lead. We will, uh, while well, we got a minute here, <clears throat> we're starting next weekend at halftime. We're going to have a we've, – we've been doing interviews and uh, had a – conversation with coach Plumley this morning and we will be talking to players we will have there you go give is to Cagle Cagle got 
He's going to be thrown forward about a yard short of the line to gain. So anyway, uh, Coach Plumley will pick out a player or two, and we'll talk to him Friday morning and have it recorded, and then we'll we'll play those at halftime uh, through the rest of the season. May have to get kind that of, one Thursday morning. Uh, no, it'll be Friday morning. We've already talked about it. Woo! That's right. Well, that's right. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't planning on leaving it when the rooster crowed. See, I'm gonna have to get with him. <laughs> We had to do that Thursday morning, I'm I sure. Can, the only thing I can tell you, Ron, is I saw the uh, transportation sheet said leaving at 8 a.m. Okay. 18 seconds left. Give is to Dupree. He's going to have enough for the first down, and That'll, that should do it. That should do it. It will be a neat experience for the Leopards uh, next Friday. They're going to actually get the opportunity to do their walkthrough at the University of Memphis, um, which would be a cool thing for all of them to get to see and kind of see – well, what a college program looks like. And I imagine there's going to be some people from college Memphis out here looking, to, looking at some leopards, get some eyeballs on some that, leopards that too. That would not shock me uh, either. Because I know Memphis a... has come in, has, 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 has done some recruiting, not so much here as they have at, at Robinson and, and, and at uh, Arkadelphia and some other places. They've, they've come in after some kids. And, well, there uh, are definitely some kids wearing orange and black that Memphis, uh, Memphis will could probably be, be interested yes. in. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well. Leopards are going to take the win home tonight against the Lakeside Rams, 48-28. We hope that if you can't make the long journey to Hernando next week that you will join us on the live stream or listen to us, however you choose to do that, as we will be walking in Memphis, walking <laughs> with our feet 10 feet off a of bill. <laughs> 